Hi, Vod. And, uh, and pretty much all major platforms. Yeah, all the uh, the PS4 era consoles, I don't think there's an Xbox Series version, for example. It's just the Xbox One version on the Series X. Yeah, and for people for PlayStation, it's four onward. So you could you could probably pick up the PS4 version on PS5 if you want it, but there's no PS5 version. You're gonna have a lot to love. Well, you know, the main premise of this game is about magic, so that's pretty much your answer. It can tell the title of the game is the name of the magic school. You can't start a fire without wood. How else would you survive? That's what you get for having me on. All the puns in real time. Anyway, I'm not much of a pet person in general. Yeah, and they're so much less expensive that way, too. Yep, she is looking for the school for unspecified reasons. Be gone, ordinary human. Yeah, civilian, magicless, however you want to put it. But her sister's a witch who does go to the school. Battle time. Yeah, you will find, uh, we'll go, we'll go over stats later, but one of them is speed, and getting that up is how you get to move quicker and more frequently in the turn order. Yeah, you got this grid-based positioning system, this pretty much, uh... Well, I guess each of your attacks and the enemy attacks have a specific range to them. So that determines what you'll be able to do and what they'll be able to do to you. 
So see those green squares are where you're able to throw. Since all you can do right now is throw a rock at them. And if you don't like that, if you move to a spot and you don't like your options for your attack range, you can just press B to cancel or whatever it is on Xbox. You can cancel out, remove. As long as you don't select an attack, you can always make changes. Yeah, if you just want to move around and see what types of attacks might reach, get a full sense of your options, it's there. You have one small mushroom. Hello. Uh, you know what? I should pop out the chat too, shouldn't I? There we go, I figured it out. Not a bit. <laughs> That's generally the sign of a scripted loss. She, she did throw a couple of rocks. And ate a mushroom. She's getting her Mario on. Suddenly fire. <laughs> that guy's... Nope. Mm -hmm. And really, well, you just showed them new magic. I'll check. Okay, yeah, the, I didn't hear it. <laughs> He's on Rob, but Rob, well, I'd say Rob watch, but it's more like Rob listen.
Oh, shoot. Wait, what'd I do? Did I? No. Am I still here? Okay, I closed the Discord window and I thought I accidentally just ditched the stream. Please pardon the technical difficulties. Here is your complimentary elevator music. Do 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 I can't sing. I certainly tried to do that, Skull Kid Tiger. Also, hey, I, I didn't get to thank Stealthy Potato for the gift sub. I was lurking during one of Amber's streams with you. And then I found out that I had a gift sub. You know, if someone was impatient, they could use your let's go emote to be like, come on already, let's go. It's very multi-purpose. Okay. This should be good now? Can I, can, can I, am I heard? Can the masses hear me? I see feedback on the thing. So I should be heard now. Oh, he hears me. Yay. Okay. So the problem was that my, uh, you're, uh, you're the one who fucking recommended it to me. A uh, voice banana crashed. Uh, <laughs> so. Okay. Hold on. In my defense, I recommended it without having used it myself. No, that no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying fuck you for recommending it. I'm saying thank you for recommending it. It just so happened that this is the time it crashed. <laughs> well, well, it's fine. Who cares? Uh, how's the uh, audio balance, by the way? Can is the game good? I'm good. I uh, can't hear the game anymore. Oh, you cannot. Uh, here, let me try. Oh. Well, now I can't even see the stream. Well, yeah, because I shut it off. <laughs> it was just stuck on a thing. Right. Well, it's still stuck on that same thing. I assume you haven't moved past. Please indulge us. Yes. <laughs> That's everyone watching this right now. Is there any music? No, it's just uh, like cricket noises. But I don't hear the cricket noises. Unless it's just really soft. Oh, now I hear it. Yeah, it was just really soft. You were a little choppy at first, but I think it's better now. Okay, good. Alright, we're all set then. I got everything fixed. I'm a pro gamer. Alright. My desired position... Yeah, so about... now, to fight. now to fight with actual powers. Ignite. Oops. <laughs> One damage. What fierce magic. Did you see that oops though? It's because you missed your... <gasps> timed hits! They have timed hits! Command actions? 
I told you that when I was for, uh, when I was recommending the game. It's like Paper Shh. Mario. Shh, it's a surprise. <laughs> oh, I didn't. You said you weren't gonna do any acting. <laughs> Cast a spell. You should see a red ring. Right now, press the A. Nice. Wait, nice. It only did two damage. That's sixty-seven off. If you time your wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've what have I what have I indoctrinated you into? <laughs> nice does more damage, but great is more powerful. Every spell has different hit timing, so pay close attention. This is the only time they will spell out what the timing is. Oh, okay, gotcha. You have to figure it out for other spells, but I can, of course, guide you if you need that. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll see how it is. You can defend. Okay, so they have the defense thing too, but it also has the nice and great things. Yeah, now that one, uh, that one's more intuitive because it's like the Paper Mario where it's just right before the attack hits you. Mm -hmm. No matter what the attack is, I mean, some of the attacks will try to throw you off with when they're going to hit you. But the point is, press the button right before it hits you. I feel bad for my A button because I always hit the A button too hard on these games. Yeah, get roasted for three. Your magic is so cool. It seems pretty hot to me. <laughs> right. Got the temperature wrong. Look at me, I'm already a fucking pro at this game. I'm gonna speed run it. Uh, if you're gonna speed run it, then uh, I'd have to introduce you to the Ickenfeld server, because uh, there's a bunch of people in there who could help you out with that, but it involves a lot of out of bounds tricks. Ah. Uh, you know what? I'll stick to uh, Valkyria Chronicles. Check out the VOD. Hey, a plug for my YouTube channel. Let's do it. <laughs> That's not them dying, right? When they when they like disappear, they're just like, because they've done nothing but praise me. So I assume I'm doing this right. <laughs> nope, you're killing them. Oh well. Oh, oops. Oops is right. <laughs> Does this mean I don't get to do the spooky voice anymore? Oh, so I'm kidding. They're ghosts. You can't kill them. They're already dead. Yo, a red mushroom? Crazy. Never seen one of those. Eok, uh, captain of the Ghost Legion. Nice so I'm hat. just going to put... I already told this to Rob, but I'll put it out to anyone else in the audience that I've spoken with the game developer just little bits here and there through the server for the game and whatnot. And just last night, we ended up in a small conversation about pronouncing things. And his, <laughs> view, his view is that words don't have official pronunciations. People just have different ways of pronouncing things. So, mm. you can't pronounce anything wrong in this game. Not according right. to him. And he made the thing, so. He, exactly. It's official. There you go. <laughs> yep, and you that's... can pronounce anything any way you want. That's that's like the, uh, the Sonic social media team when people ask them, like, oh, what's canon, what's not? And they just respond, everything is canon. <laughs> it do doesn't matter. Whatever you want to be canon, it's canon now. <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. Our job is to also, keep ordinary. Uh, yeah, in from this game. In. Yeah, so there's confirmation in this game ordinary is the term for magicless person. <laughs> yeah, why can I shoot fire out of my hands? That's pretty crazy, you know? <laughs> if she could have done that before, she wouldn't have needed to light that fire with all the sticks. Yeah, that's very true. Then again, it, she wouldn't even be here if she could light fire from the beginning. Like in general, she'd probably be at the school, Oh yeah, right? she could have enrolled with her sister. <laughs> that is <Exactly>. correct. 
under lockdown. Oh my gosh. Relatable. Safina's her sister, I assume. Yep. Gotcha. Hiddleguard? Yeah, I think that's right. Again, everything is right. <laughs> right, it's all canon. <laughs> Hil Hildegard? That's also right. Yeah, that, that's their last name. Hmm. No word from Eichenfeld since the lockdown. But sometimes students stay at school during the summer. But she always comes home, she would have told us. Hmm. Well, don't know what to do there. <laughs> uh, awkward situation. Do I let her in? Do I not? <laughs> I must think on it. Because it's like, you know... Because you got magic now, so, like, you're allowed in, but... It's late at night, you just... Uh, give me <laughs> yeah, a chance you... to think. Yeah, exactly. Yo. Yo, we're making progress. That's it. We're already halfway we're through the game. <laughs> we're halfway through the game. Two chapters and a prologue. Wow. You're still here. So it wasn't all a dream. Yeah, surprisingly it wasn't a dream when you shot fire at ghosts. See if you can light a fire. Light fire. So, quick question. They'll probably explain this in a second. Does this game have uh, something similar to Wild Arms where like sometimes you get certain abilities you get in and out of battle? Um, or like, I guess... A more you mean like obvious, uh, like Mario and Luigi, like you get, like in the classic ones, you would get an ability that you could use in the field, but it would also give you up in a an attack in battle. Is that a thing here or no? I don't recall any field skills existing in this game. All the spells mm -hmm. are solely for battle. Okay. It is a school of magic. Oh. Uh, so when I asked the Ickenfeld server about stuff I might want to tell you last night, mm -hmm. I did get one response, and I'm not sure I knew this myself. I probably internalized it at some point without realizing it, but that timing system with the nice and the great, mm -hmm. uh, they wanted me to pass on, you cannot be late on your timing or you will automatically get an oop. So, like, the great timing is not sandwiched in between two windows for nice timing. It's if you're late. You oh, know, okay. Then. So there's so you're a better off being early if you're. So there, there's early a, an an early oops, a nice, a great, and then oops. So yeah. like that's the window. Got it. Unfortunately, we cannot escort you further. The headmistress herself assigned us to stand guard here. What a very specific spot. Uh, it's okay, I can make it the rest of the way. There's just one thing. You must light two- Oh, wow! I must light lanterns, how convenient! If only I had the power of pyromancy. Yeah, that's a thinker. May the great raven guide you, young fire witch. Yo, I got money? Or you got money? Give me the money. Uh, no, he wants you to give him the money. That's what? That's shop symbol. Oh. Well, that's... That makes sense. <laughs> so you, get your, you get your first look at the equip menu and the stats menu. Mm -hmm. I, I appreciate that there's just a single power set, a single defense, a single speed, and a single movement. It makes it easy. Because uh, I know, yeah. like especially classic Final Fantasy, had like... Attack, magic attack, and like defense, magic defense, and all that other stuff. But yeah. they would give it but weird in this names. Game, all so. the attacks are magic. Yeah, exactly. So they didn't so. really need to do that. Mm -hmm. also, oh, so there, the, there's uh, no physical attackers then. It's all magic. Right, and that's also why the creator specifically decided against any sort of MP system. 
You can use oh, that makes any sense. spell. Uh, I think about certain ones that are more powerful do have a turn cooldown. Mm -hmm. But other than that, you're free to use all the regular spells as much as you want. Oh, cool. <laughs> a pocket knife for channeling magic. That's hilarious. I love it. It reminds me of... Uh, in the other RPG I'm streaming, NES uh, Final Fantasy 1... Um, I, the black mage I have in my party, uh, has been equipped with a silver knife for at least 80% of my playthrough. <laughs> and so, so it just, re it just reminds me of that, like this tiny little, like, yeah, yeah, like knife, but I'm also shooting giant lightning bolts and flames out of my hand. So there we go. Aw, oh, look at her. She's so sweet. What do you have to say? Where did Dancer go off to? I want to sneak up and scare him. They're not over here. Hmm. Oh, the kitty's back. Where are the lanterns? Scenes can be skipped holding down the Y button. Uh, scenes as in, like, anytime they're talking? Yeah, that's important for speedruns. Gotcha. Oh, uh, that's cute that... Oh, yo, cats are the same spots! That's adorable, yeah, I love it. they heal you every time. Uh, and it's full a full heal? and save. Yep. Nice. Poggers. And there's no Indeed. random encounters, you can see them all. That's nice. I appreciate that. Now, another thing I was talking about on the server last night was about the difficulty balance when it comes to how you should handle encounters. And some of them said, you know, a, a streamer might be tempted to skip more of the encounters to keep things moving along. But the game is balanced in such a way that you might want to just do every encounter once. Yeah, that's that's how I play RPGs anyway. I always do, especially a game that has enemies in the over in the overworld. Uh, I'll just do whatever is in front of me as I'm moving along. So if I'm just like walking along and I see something, I'll fight it. It makes things easier yeah. for me later on. And Assuming the game is well balanced. I never really had to, to like that. The developer definitely achieve their goal because i never felt like i had to grind when i played it mm -hmm. it's an option though like enemies will respawn if you leave and come back to different areas so if you want to grind up the characters at any point you could but it shouldn't be necessary that's good at least yo i'm getting all these greats let's go oh I will be very interested when you get oh. another spell to see if that continues. <laughs> it will not. Spoilers, it won't. <laughs> it won't continue. I'm uh, betting. Uh, there is one very specific spell later that I just could rarely ever get the great on. <laughs> and so it's like, well, I might want to use it in this situation, but you know what? I won't because it'll just do a damage because I'll miss mm -hmm. uh, are there uh, uh, preemptives or ambushes in this game or no I don't remember that being a thing <laughs> okay that's good at least because I've, I've never been a fan of uh, random ambushes or uh I hit. You know what? I'm I'm not doing so hot on that. I need to. Well, this is your first time at the rock, isn't it? Well, right, it is. But I also got a bunch of oops on the uh, on the uh, other guys. There we go.
Nice. This is probably self-evident, but you can also use the recovery items outside of battle. Yeah. Thank God it's not like Final Fantasy One, where uh, your uh, your spells to revive a party member that uh, is KO'd um, can only be used outside of battle, which is a a very awful decision that they made. <laughs> But lucky, lucky for me in that Level version. Level two though. factorial. Yo, fireball! Let's go. That's like fire, but it's more round. Hell yeah! Let's go. Uh, let's see here. Four HP, twelve HP. I'll take the twelve HP. There we go. A common coin, as opposed to an uncommon coin. If I remember right, that is cell fodder for the shop. Okay, gotcha. Ah, okay, so... I mean, the, I, the, the item description will tell you, of course, if that's the case. But I'm pretty sure that's what all the coins do. And they get progressively more rare so that you get more money out of them. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, your fireball is going to hit in that five square T shape. It can hit multiple targets, but it's weaker. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. So, if you move up a space, then that yeah. T will move up a space, and you can hit both. I. What's the timing on the fireball <laughs> should be, that should be right before the fireball hits the enemy okay gotcha like how uh, like your guard perfect okay cool i didn't i didn't know if it was uh because the other fire spell has the red circle um mm -hmm. which is the timing for that so i thought the red wavy lines above me were the timing because they were also red you know uh but alas that was not that yeah was not it. To everything every spell is different yeah i just i i try i was like where's the connection here i don't understand that makes sense though just so is it general rule of thumb that it's hitting the enemy is the timing um a like, lot of the spells work that way if there's an animation where something hits the enemy. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, let's go. So, yep, that one's an objective upgrade. Oh, you found me. Maybe I should have found a better hiding spot. Why were you hiding at all? <laughs> well, they don't want to let you in. You find my other half so easily. Ooh. I will do my best, though. Alright, let's get out of here. And get that free heal and the pet. And then the save. There we go. Yo, a little cat meow for the save sound. That's adorable. I love it. Yeah. Okay. And then end turn. Let's go. That fuzzball didn't stand the chance. Yeah, right. Okay. Sick. Let's go, baby. Yeah, so you definitely got the basics of the battle system down, and it'll just be that, you know, it gets iterated upon with later spells, later party members, etc. Are there going to be anything like, uh, I don't know what to call them, like uh, any sort of limit break type uh, system, or... 
Uh, Depends on the character. Okay, gotcha. And then you're gonna hit me with your your shitty hat. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's not there. shitty. It's shiitake. Yeah, exactly. There we go. You knew what I was going for. You knew what I was going for. There we go. Gave you the alley oop on that one. What a yeah. Skull Skull Kid brings up a good point. What a nifty little game. It's very cute so far. Yeah. I like it. It's developed by Chevy Ray of uh, what's what's his company called? Something Ray Happy Ray Games. I want to say it was called. Yep. That was it. It flashed at the beginning. So, uh, yeah, Chevy, uh, probably, a, well, Chevy's roommate is probably a bit more known since they've made a bunch more games. I'm sure y'all know Maddie Thorson of Celeste and Tower Yo. Ball. Yo, I know them. Yeah, so they were roommates with Chevy when they were developing for game jams and whatnot. Uh-huh. So that, that's kind of why this game ends up looking a lot like Celeste on the overworld. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Because, you know, they're working with the same assets. <laughs> right. And plus, you know, with creators in such close proximity to each other, you're bound to pick up, like, even just techniques or styles from each other, you know? Look at all these cool rock animations. They got little faces and everything. Can you solve the mystery? Yo, it's Vash. What's up, Vash? Vash is here. I really appreciate Ooh. you picking an RPG. When I messaged you and I was like, hey, pick a game that, like, would be fun to play together or, like, you know, just, like, talk w over while we're, you know, playing or whatever. But, uh, you were like, how about this RPG that's on Game Pass? And I'm like, yo, that's perfect. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, with all those other boxes I checked off for you. I was like, yo, you just described the most hype thing possible? <laughs> Let's go. Uh, not much late start oh, to the man, day, but gonna head to swim in a little bit. Oh, nice. I don't, I don't, I don't know if we have any. I think the Y down, like the road from us, has a pool, but I'm not, I'm not sure about that. I have a pool, but it's kind of rainy here right now. Ah, not really. Uh, I was in it yesterday. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, slight increased gold drop. Oh, that's mm, that's nice. I don't, I don't think I need that in early game, right? Like, I'm probably fine without that for now. So, it was an item I constantly thought about and never used. <laughs> oh, uh, so you probably didn't need it. It was just like a cool bonus to have, I, I suppose. If you want your strategy to be, let's maximize the gold output, then by all means, go for it. <laughs> But I always just looked at it and said, I could have better stats if I just ignore it. <laughs> Sorry, had to check something real quick. Okay, we're good. Or half of me, at least. Yes. Good job. There's only one thing left to do. And that's to watch you exploit the game and just create paths. <laughs> Sounds like the speedrunning community. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now give me my cat save. I watched uh, someone do... The, I didn't watch the whole thing, it was late. But I did get a sense of the speedrun community last night. Someone in the Dickenfell server was streaming it. So I decided to look for any sort of little tidbits. And I found... A lot of it is saving and reloading in certain spots so that you can glitch out of bounds and then it turns out that, you know, all the 
places that are supposed to be separate from each other are actually just a few screens away on the map and you never see them so they just kind of walk through huh. the game map to get to later <laughs> areas much faster you know what that kind of makes sense because that's uh it reminds me of like link to the past speed runs where everything's on one map and they just like glitch through dungeons repeatedly yeah earthbound's the same way isn't it hmm it is uh, Earthbound's a lot of fun to watch as a speedrun. Okay, so, oh, wait, before you do any, never mind. Well, oh no, what did I do? Oh no! I was just I gonna tell you that when you talk to them again, you're gonna trigger the boss. That's the game giving you a warning. Oh no, my bet. Well, you know what? I saved right before it. I think I'll be okay. All right, I, I didn't, I wasn't sure if you did save right before it. Oh yeah, when, when I walked in on the screen, I said, give me my kitty pets and my saves. <laughs> okay, you're good then. But, yeah, the, the guy talked to you, and then it just let you move around again. So, in that way, the game often lets you, the player, decide when you are ready to start the boss encounter. Nice. I appreciate generally that. Generally a save cat nearby, so that you can go in fully prepared. <laughs> Vash just pointed out, I just noticed you're in a kitchen. Yes, I am in a kitchen. So, our house set kitchen up. Kitchen fell. <laughs> yeah, right. K kitchen fell, right? Uh, fork and fell as it were uh that's a meta gamer shit right there uh so it's how our house is set up uh i didn't i don't really like my desk all that much and it's still upstairs in our garage from when i moved in so we set up all our stuff on the downstairs kitchen counter and it just kind of worked out that it's comfortable here so uh, sticking with it i got the oven right here for pizza i got i got the fridge right over there i got the water bottle in the background you see it <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm assuming my fire spells are not very effective on these guys, uh, but they are the only attack option you have. So I would hope they work in some capacity. That's you know what? <laughs> That's a very good point. I hit multiple fireballs. The flame explodes, damaging anyone next to it. Oof. Rough. Oh my god, you do so much damage! It is a boss. Do you like I its mean, name? Uh, oh, I didn't see the name. I'll I'll see it in a sec. Hang on. Ign Ignite? Oh, no, that's the spell name. No, that's name. the spell. The attack barely even scratched it. Maybe there's another way to deal more damage. Oh, so the, the big brain strat is to have the fireballs next to it. Turmoil? Your word's not mine. Turmoil? Do you get it? Do you get it? Uh, am I... Mm. It's a lantern. And you light an enter lantern way. Ah, ah, ah got, gotcha, gotcha. Now I get it. Uh, when it says next, I did not name the enemy, but... <laughs> uh, when it says next to it, does that mean like in the same kind of grid shape that my spell is? That means one space, like adjacent. Yeah. So, that makes so right sense. now the blue flame is not next to him. Yeah, that makes sense. It would have to be one space further to the left, or he'd have to be to the right. Mm -hmm. So for now, I can just. Go for this. Get the extra yeah, two yeah, damage. Yeah, when I fought this guy, I found only one opportunity to use that strat. And most of the time, I was just chipping away at him like that. Oh, well, that's kind of a... That was... That sucked. Oh, well. Well, you were next to it. <laughs> Look, listen, you... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I wonder if this could work. Hmm. Will that do uh, enough damage? Yeah, that's that's the. Oh. There we go. There you go. So that's three times as much damage as you're otherwise able to do. Yeah. 
Oh, also, fine. Uh, if you're what's up? If you're curious about the health of any enemy, go to your actions. Ah, view you units. Use... Okay, cool. That gives you exact numbers. I appreciate that. Oh, it's oh no! Itself. I live. <laughs> it killed the boss for you. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'm the little yo. I'm the little orange flame. I'm gonna be the hero and do <laughs> damage to the enemy. Let's oh, go. Wait, I killed my master. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you fool! What have you done? Uh, man, oh, so Vash mentioned finally moving his setup out of his closet, and he gets, like, in his actual room now. That's nice. Gotta appreciate when you can expand your, your space a little bit. Alright, now give me that cat save. I'm gonna pet the shit out of this cute thing. And I recommend you go back to the left. Oh? Be careful out there, young one. Who's to tell what st your strange new magic is capable of? Oh, I can like, I can like actually. Oh, well, you uh, already own the. Oh yeah. That he sells. Yeah. Um. Oh, my defense goes up, but my speed goes down. I'm good on that. Uh, is what is speed? Just like how often I get a turn. Yeah. So it will determine the higher your speed, the further up you move in the turn order, and sometimes if your speed is much higher than the enemies. You may even get multiple turns before they get one. Yo, that's poggers. Okay. Let's see. So... And uh, uh, you... to Vash's other point about the experience numbers, the, they're all very low in this game. Like, they don't... They don't just inflate the experience to thousands of points for no reason. Mm-hmm. What it reminds me of, uh, as I, I know, I keep bringing up other games. I don't mean to like compare this to other things. It's just like I've played a lot of RPGs, so I'm like bound to do that. Um, mm -hmm. Final Fantasy IX. None of the bosses give you experience. Uh, they only give you uh, a little more uh, to the left. Oh, a little more to the left. Uh, yeah, bosses in that game only give you. Uh, weapon experience which is very useful because a lot of the time it is uh enemies only give you like one or two normally but bosses give you like up to 10 or 15 so it's it's very useful for gaining new skills you found me don't tell creeper i am this is my favorite spot i like to be alone to practice my dancing you i'll even give you something special said, nope he's not here <sighs> sparkly gem i like sparkly oh is that their dancing i love it what is this? Gem Master would trade an arm and a leg for one of these. Ooh, I'll keep that in mind. I need to... What, yeah, what are so you doing? I figured I'd use that opportunity to let you know that this game likes to hide stuff like that. Where it's just a strange spot where it doesn't look like there's anything. But then you check it and there's something there. <laughs> gotcha. Alright. Let's go. Well, nothing here. Gonna go on. Alright, goodbye. No. Okay, maybe I'll fight these things. Yo, is that Dr. Goomba Tower? It won't be for long. Yeah, right. Now that, that would be sad if you could just get... If you get your doctorate, but you did it on let's say you got your doctorate online and then the company that provided that service was like we're gonna revoke it in a few months <laughs> any money you gave us we're just gonna keep that but you know it's just being shut down Man. Out of all the Nintendo mobile games, I would have said that was like the second best one. 
Oh, it, yeah, like I actually played it a little bit and it was a pretty fun game. It's, uh, you know, it, the, the unfortunate truth of it is that despite having like four times the player count as like Dragalia Lost, it just no one put money into it because it was like apparently very gotcha heavy, but like in the worst kind of way, not in the like fun, quirky kind of way, I guess. And yeah, Fire Emblem Heroes is still going strong. Yeah, I'm not sure how the gotcha is in that game. I don't, I haven't played that game in a long time. The The only time, okay, I played it when it was new. And then I, I went back to it last year when they added the Tokyo Mirage Sessions characters. But I didn't get the one I wanted, so I uninstalled the game. So... <laughs> <laughs> Because Tokyo Mirage Sessions is my quote-unquote favorite Fire Emblem, uh, with people can, on the stream can see it, but giant air quotes on the favorite Fire Emblem game. Mm -hmm. um, all right, let's go. Got the I money. Played that, but I've also played Echoes in Three Houses. So as far as actual Fire Emblems, I'm gonna give it to Echoes. Uh, if we're talking actual Fire Emblem, I've. I've not played Echoes. I didn't like Fates. Three Houses was a little too grindy for me. Uh, I enjoyed the Wii game, but I played that so long ago, I don't have a fresh memory on it. So I think Awakening is probably my favorite. Uh, but I've also not played it recently. So uh, let's go with uh, Small Mushroom. Yeah. There we go. Um, the, the, there's a cat. Right yeah, I know. There. Yeah, I, I know. Why, why is there a cat a screen away from the other cat? Well, I don't know about that, but what I'm saying is, did you just use a mushroom to heal when there was a cat? Oh, you know what? First of all, fuck you. I'm used to other RPGs. <laughs> <laughs> Second of all... There's other RPGs that give you heals next to save points. I do what I want. I'm a rebel without a cause. Look, Asrin, I'm gonna ingest this mushroom whether you want me to or not. <laughs> and it's gonna be great. Whoa, why am I tripping? <laughs> Yo, five damage? Let's go. He did level up. Oh, you know what? Here's an interesting fact about leveling up. You never gain defense. Oh, you never gain defense. Interesting. Know that no character naturally gains defense through leveling up. That is all handled by equipment. I actually kind of like that idea. So if you're leveling, you'll get power, you'll get speed, and sometimes you'll get a little bit of HP. But that's it. That's an interesting idea. I actually like that. It makes uh, <clears throat> it makes equipment actually like beneficial, and you can't just like grind for better defense. Because it, it like if I'm being honest, it never made sense to me that like you gain defense by fighting. Because like think about it like this, right? If a wolf scratches you, the amount of times you've gotten into a fist fight should not determine if that wolf kills you or not. <laughs> like, it, it, like whenever I'm playing Final Fantasy 13, I always think I'm like, you know what? I'm getting hit by these laser beams, but like. These are laser beams. Why Why does it matter that I've gotten into a fight before? <laughs> like... And then the, right. the other stat is movement, which is exclusive. Upping that is exclusive to a select few pieces of equipment. And it's generally where you got to make a trade off of like, do I want this character to have one extra movement space or do I prioritize the other stats? And that's all up to you. Right, and that and that would depend on like what I want my setup to be, more or less, right? Yep. Cool. Rah. Yo, that egg bird? Let's go. I'll wait right here. I, I keep forgetting to look at the turn order. You said you played Tokyo Mirage Sessions, right? 
Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, but in that game, you just like set up a turn, uh, like you set up a session, and the entire game plays itself at that point. <laughs> but it does have a turn order on the top if you look. Boop, boop, boop. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Okay. Victory, baby. Let's go. I like how I get almost as much experience out of these enemies than I do the, uh, the boss. It's locked. You need a key. Give me the axe. I'm going to win this uh, whole game. <laughs> you know, I don't remember offhand. If I got that same amount of experience from the boss, it kind of got me second guessing. What if the fact that the thing exploded on its own and killed the boss actually deprived you of that experience? I don't oh, know if it did. maybe. It the enemy got the experience, but then the enemy died. So. <laughs> I'd have to double check if that's a thing. Because there's not a ton of instances where that can happen. Right. But I don't think you'll be hurting too much anyway, because it was the first boss. Yeah, I, I doubt I, I doubt the first boss is the make or break point for experience. <laughs> Yo, let's go. I can one-shot these guys now. I'm feeling good. Oh, that is not... Okay. The reason why I use that spell specifically is so I can get more practice with it. Any little gotcha. bit helps. Because otherwise, the other spell would have been a no-brainer in a one-on-one -on -one setting. <laughs> exactly. Where's your treasure chest? Let me steal your stuff. Oh, it's over here. Let me talk to you, though. I'm scared to even go outside these days. Everything is weird Relatable. around here. Yeah, right. Stocks cider. I don't know nothing about cider, but I got your fire poker now. Hey, there we go. Wait, I just realized if there's no... F I Like, I understand they explained that, like, what you're holding channels your magic or whatever... But, like, the idea of holding a fire poker and it it just makes spells better is, like, funny to me. I love that. All right. But in their defense, Merit is using fire magic. So I think it's kind of logical that a fire poker would be better than a pocket I mean, knife at yeah, handling uh, fire stuff. In that specific case, yes, you're right. But I doubt every single thing she picks up is going to be fire related. We'll see. If, if everything turns out to be fire-related, I'm turning off this stream, I swear to God. <laughs> uh, I think it's on the path that leads to the gate, but I can't find it. Wait, what, what are you talking about? Secret stash of treasure on the path that leads to the gate. Okay, cool. I don't know what a pink seed does, but I'm going to take it. Thank you. You can always check those descriptions. To a distant party member. Interesting. I was about to use yeah, a mushroom so, again, and then I remembered the cats exist. You didn't. Uh, you didn't really get to see this because you only have one party member right now. But the mushrooms, for example, you can only use them on yourself. Oh, gotcha. So you need specific items like that if you want to use one party member to heal a different party member, or a healing spell. In, in some cases, because I'm sure you can imagine that's a thing at some point. Yeah. There we go. I, You know what? Okay. I hit the A button right away by mistake, but I was able to press it again and still get the nice. So I appreciate that.
Any thoughts on the music so far? It's cute. I like it. It's like soft. It's uh, very like retro-y, but it has like piano and like acoustic guitar to it. I like it. Oh, it's like a little little wingless kazooie going on there. What's going on there? I like that. <laughs> One damage, baby. Let's go. Oh, you got fire. Let's go. Okay. Fucking crazy ass bird. Uh, Get out of here. To handle fire. <laughs> I love the little sound effect yeah. when you defeat an enemy. It's just like a little plonk. So the soundtrack is mostly handled by Ivy and Sarashu. Is handled by who? Ivy and Sarashu. Oh, those are the, the their names. Gotcha. Aha! I found yeah. the secret path. They're probably best known for Steven Universe with the oh. background tracks. Oh, huh. interesting. I've never but seen I Steven bet. Universe, though, so that doesn't mean a whole lot to me. Ah, let me see. What else did they work on? I don't recall off the top of my head. I'll look into that. But towards the end, uh, there is one other credit on the soundtrack. Her name is Sabrielle Augustine, who filled in because Ivy got a hand injury towards the end of the game development. Hmm. There we go. See, I never understood why so many RPGs had to make it like 500 experience to level up. <laughs> yeah, so you like seeing early. the big numbers. <laughs> and then this game comes along and is like, nah, you, you just need 50. The enemies will only give you like four, but it'll only take 50. Ooh, As that'll be nice. 40 and needing 500. So these gem things, are these just for like a very specific like merchant that's going to require these? Yeah, you'll meet that gem master later. And uh, if you want 100%, then you'll want to find all the hidden gem stuff for all the things you can get from them. Sounds good. But definitely not a requirement to beat the game. That's good. But he'll have special things. You'll see them in due time. And if you just want some of them, then you can use whatever gems you just so happen to find and ignore any stuff you don't want. Mm -hmm. Victorious. Oh, that's right. that low HP for me. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. There we go. Uh, I see a, I like a gap. I I want it. Okay. So sometimes you would be correct to go up and press A there and see if like the tree moves out of the way. There will be suspicious spots like that. So. I encourage you to keep checking them like that, but other times that'll just be something that opens up later. Oh, okay. So I, I believe this is one of those cases where that's like a shortcut back from somewhere else. Ah, the vets. Safina's head. Oh no, mine. Oh, oh no, it's a hat ghost. Hello. Oh Jesus. Witch it. Mine now. <laughs> I made this. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
my sister's head. Sister, don't see her. Well, I mean... Sister, I hardly even knew her. You're right. Guess it's mine, then. Uh, let me go. As you wish. Oof. My hand is burning? Oh. So, wait, does this dude, like, steal powers, then? What's going on there? Why, why, or can no, he, is he I'm just detecting sure he's it? just... Yeah, the, that's the sense I get, is that she's got firepower, he can kind of feel it from within her, so fire is hot. I would not like for you to get hurt. It's hot like a little UFO when he goes in it. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. The gate is just up ahead. Let me in. Let me in! Uh, <laughs> don't worry, it, it won't be finicky if it's something that you can press A on. Yeah. Is this the gate to e Eichenfeld? Doesn't seem to go anywhere. Yeah, but I'm going to uh, touch the glowy like rock. behind it. It's making a strange noise. Oh. Safina? I can hear her voice, but it sounds strange. Younger? Uh, what, roughly speaking, what is the age of the main character and the sister? Uh, I gotta check, but I'm gonna say high school. Hmm. So, like, mid-teens at, like-ish? Everything is fuzzy? Touch fuzzy, get dizzy. Oh! Hello, lady. Are you a ghost, too? <laughs> yes. Let's see. Do, 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 do. This place is so weird. What is going on? Oh, boy. That's kind of... It's kind of creepy. I can't. I can't wait to learn some cool magic. S Safina? You're... Are you so young? Ahem. Okay, I'm assuming this headmistress... I can't find is... anything concrete, but I'm pretty sure I can fell a high school. Gotcha. So, I'm assuming this headmistress has got some shit going on, because that's every RPG, but I'll be I'll be pleasantly surprised if not. But Time will tell on all fronts. But I'll also be pleasantly hyped if I'm right, because I called it. So just saying. Just it's saying. a win win. Yeah, exactly. I win no matter what. Now reach deep into the pockets of your coats, as deep as you can. Don't tell me what to do. My whole arm fits. And what do we have here? That's what Some... we like to call a pocket dimension. Yeah. Is this does this explain how uh, you carry a ton of shit in RPGs? Is it's like it's a pocket dimension, a literal one? I guess in this one, but not. Merit doesn't have any kind of coat like that. She never enrolled at the school. Oh, that's true. I guess she just has like 40 mushrooms in her pocket. Because she can. <laughs> she must have khakis. Hmm. Yeah, in a sense for what kind of student Safina is. Yeah, she's like super like rambunctious and like eager and everything. Maybe a troublemaker to a, to an extent. Yo? Oh, look if, at her. If this cutscene shows one thing, she's, you know, pretty inattentive. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> That's me. Yeah, she's very, very, like, I'm so hyped to do stuff. Yeah, my, 
Yeah, in that way, she's like you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're both so fucking hype. Who's the crotchy old lady? <laughs> I need a picture of like the headmistress, but it's uh, the big fat meanie. <laughs> from Spongebob, as if I really look like this! <laughs> uh, Aldra. You know what? Now I understand why the devs are just like, pronounce it however you want. I don't care. <laughs> I made up a bunch of names, and they're really unique names. So, I don't know. Say whatever you want. <laughs> Let us enter. Uh, sorry, so, you don't get to go through the gate. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm interested to see what the point of, like, this whole, like, seeing the possible memory or dream sequences thing. I'm, su I'm sure the game will talk about it later, but, like, get little seeds of mystery for now. Yep. Oh? A flying hat. What will they think of next? <laughs> yeah, crazy. They clearly saw that guy go by. That sure took me by surprise. Wish you would take this more seriously, sir. <laughs> the forest is out of control. Something strange is happening here. I thought the list was going to go on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad at inflection. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, Bax, you need to relax a little. They sent us to take care of it, and we will, as usual. And please, don't call me sir when it's just the two of us. Oh, hello there. You must be a student. I don't know. I light, I light things on fire, I guess. Uh, actually, I... Ibn Oxley, at your service. And my exceedingly handsome compatriot here is Bex Twyford. Oh, look at him blush. I see you. But you probably knew that. That's a regular tomato you got there. Yeah. Never heard of you. <laughs> really? Not, this isn't major spoilers, but uh, I, I've been playing Great Ace Attorney, and when you first meet Herlock Sholmes, he's like, I'm the world's most famous detective, or whatever. And Ryanosuke, the main character, is like, I've never heard of you. Literally never. <laughs> you know, I've, I've heard of some... Uh, you know, do you know that Sherlock guy? And That's famous. Yeah, right. That's I, I know that guy. <laughs> You're like the great value brand of him, right? <laughs> Most powerful wizard in the coven. Bex here is here to assist me on a secret mission for the coven. I told him I was finding my own, but he insisted. Sir, it's not a secret mission if you tell everybody. Don't be a fuss. It's nothing I can't handle. We're just here to find the headmistress and a red-haired girl. <laughs> they, they immediately turn around like, <laughs> like wait a fucking minute. <laughs> You're a red hair girl. <laughs> and she doesn't know about the famed infant Oxley? Roasted. Definitely sus. <laughs> Barrett was ejected. Yeah. <laughs> I just need an edit of, like, the red one flying through space, and it just has her hair on it. <laughs> I'm a genius, Bex. We found one of our suspects. Hmm. I've heard she's one of Aikenfeld's most talented students. Let's have a little duel to see what she's capable of. Sir, I don't think that's... 
You can hang backpacks. That that was really hard to say. Uh, uh, let me handle this one. Wait. wait. Oh my God, you're Time so. Fight the most famous witch in existence, apparently. Yeah, right. Prepare yourself for my ultimate attack, the Oxley Special. Please tell me it's like. Yeah, it's it's not great. <laughs> what was that? It? It was just like a ball of light. Ethan, please do not exert yourself. What? <laughs> Two for one, maybe. <laughs> Yo, we're just hanging out. <laughs> He left. Okay, great. There goes that guy. Oh, that's interesting. It always does a minimum of one damage then? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Like you can't, uh, you can't, uh, prevent, uh, all damage. You're, you're always going to get at least one, which is nice. To know. Well, if I tell you, I, I was going to... You kind of stopped your sentence at nice, and I'm like, is it really? Yeah. Yo, a noble foe indeed. One I like... experience point. <laughs> yeah, a single point. You did it. <laughs> what is your strange magic, girl? I hear that was a very bad DreamWorks movie from, like, the 2000s. I've never <laughs> seen anything like it. But what, the movie or the spells? <laughs> yep, I knew it. She's not our girl. I just had to test her, to be certain. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. Let's go. We have to find a way into the school. It was a pleasure dueling. It's a good thing I went easy on you. My magic is actually much too powerful to be fighting children with. I'm not a child. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I'm a teenager. There's a difference. Yeah. Oh, yeah. very big difference. Are you looking for... Sorry, no time for autographs. I have a secret mission to attend to. It's not secret. You told me what it is. Ah, <laughs> uh, please don't just vanish without me, sir. Ugh, is everyone like this in the magical world? Why are people looking for my sister? Why are you looking for your sister? Okay, okay, I feel like she has a reason for it. <laughs> she, or, you know... What, just because her sister didn't come home when she was supposed to, and then her hat was found lying on the ground, and some weird guy took it? You think she's got a reason because of all that? Yes. <laughs> oh well okay yeah oh, all right valid point all right <laughs> yo is that a canadian what's up come here cannot talk to chairs confirmed we came so far north just to find the school locked up i really want to see the library too that's everyone's favorite thing to look at i'm sure <laughs> To be honest, I'm kind of glad Hankenfeld is temporarily shut down. The drinks of North are strong. <laughs> you know, if those guys came here to find the library and then they couldn't, then I guess they should book it. Aha. I'll talk to the uh, shivering ghost here. 
Are you sure you can finish that? I'll trade drinks if you want. Don't patronize me. I can I, I can empty a cup as well as anyone. You're the size of a cup. It's larger than you are. Great, you're smaller than a cup. <laughs> being Talk small has being a half pint. <laughs> on the rocks, more like on the glass. <laughs> uh let's hurry. Okay. Where can I talk to you? Oh. Yay, lady. Hey, Red, long time no see. Me? Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were someone else. You do look a lot like her. Since we haven't met, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Zane. Zane? I, I'm assuming with the tilde, it's A, right? So. I would say Zane, personally, but we've talked about how pronunciations <laughs> don't matter. Yeah, that's true. Zane, then. There's no voice There's... acting to tell us otherwise. Mm. Well, e you say that. Technically, that doesn't matter either because uh, Titus from Final Fantasy X has had two different pronunciations by Square. So who knows? <laughs> it used to be Titus, which makes sense given the water theme of X, but it got changed to Titus in Dissidia, so who knows? <laughs> Ever since the monster started appearing, I haven't been able to do my craft. You seem well tra well traveled, I would not say. Uh, but you can ask for a favor because I probably get something out of forest. it. <laughs> exactly. Oh, this is the magic gem lady. Even if folks find them, they don't know what to do with them. That's where I come in. With just a few gems, I can work wonders. If you find any, bring them to me, and I can craft you something wonderful. I don't know if you can. Sounds good to me. It's bad form to set up shop in someone else's establishment. So I've set up a cozy little gem trade just outside. Come visit me when you found some gems for me to work with. I will do no such thing. People that establishments love it so much more when you set up shop outside the front door. Yeah, right. Than inside. There's no sign that says no loitering, so it's allowed. Um to a KO oh okay so this is uh the Phoenix down. Alright, cool. One version oh, yeah. of it. <laughs> I'll take two of those. Uh, and then There was uh there is a scroll bar, so I think there was a few more options back there. Oh oh thank god. Okay. Uh ooh. Defense goes down by two or speed goes down by yeah. two, but defense up by one. Uh, okay, not, I'm not super hype on any of this, but, like, is there a reason I would want these? It's personal but, preference, and my personal preference was if it lowers another stat by more than what I gain in another stat, then I generally didn't go for it. Yeah, that's kind of Unless it I'm got at. to a point where our character's stat ended up so low that they were constantly dying mm -hmm. and then i'd be like fine i guess i'll finally up their defense oh well i'm sure that sniffling is very important but i'm busy oh dear yo catwall hello you're not sure what it wants <laughs> and i'm not gonna find out and that item oh. that you chose not to buy. I, I, there. Yeah, I just I got it for free. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, my speed goes down so much. I wouldn't. Why would I want that? I'm good. Sniffies. Someone crying. I knock on the door. <laughs> I love the little pitter patter noise. It's so cute. Now what? <clears throat> Looking a bit lost over there. I, I'm not. I was gonna go to the hey, gym. Buddy, you need a walk through. <laughs> yeah, right. Can I whip up something? Uh, it's Mary. Marie? Is that it? Yeah, probably. I say Mary. You say Marie. Other people say Marietta. Marity. 
It's definitely that. Wow. <coughs> that's some fire to it. No, that's you. Hester's Breath. Named after the storybook dragon, of course. Do the witches around here all like spicy drinks like this? Most of them. One of Aikenfeld's students actually came up with the recipe for this one. I wonder and, which. In fact, she kind of looked like you. Oh my god, it's a sister! Wow, hey, did you see what I accidentally did there when I say, I wonder which? Yeah, exactly. I love it. The more of those, the better. It makes, it makes this whole stream more enjoyable. I'm her sister. She's gone missing and I came here myself hoping to find her. Uh, but now the school's all closed off. You're telling me. Uh, I don't know where she is or if she's still in the school. Petronella might know. Petronella. Oh, that's uh, that was the uh, that was the girl Safina called cute, right? Uh, the one from the cutscene. Yeah. On. Now they're stuck out here with the rest of us. Is, are they still here? Third room down the hall. Oh, crying lady. Pretty glum. Oh no. So I just gotta point out, bartenders using they them pronouns. Yeah, I didn't know. I I noticed that. Yo, the type is hell. Let's go. Yo. So, there, there's <laughs> I like a lot of representation to be found in this game, and Petronella is our first example of that. Hell so, yeah. When referring to Petronella, try to keep it to they. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I I didn't know originally. I, when the Ella made me think it was a, a feminine showing character, but I got that incorrect, and I appreciate that. Not I don't appreciate that I got it wrong. I appreciate that they have a they them character. Please, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I see you have a rare gem. Come back if you find more. I'll be happy to trade you for my masterfully crafted uh, apparel. Uh, can I open your treasure? Give me that. Now that is one of my finest treasures. No, it's a treasure chest. There's a difference. I couldn't possibly give it up. What if the chest oh. is treasure? <laughs> oh, true. It's very valuable chest. I'll cut you a deal. If you manage to find ten sparkly gems, I'll let you have it. But they're extremely rare, so good luck. Well, there's a bunch right here on the table. I could just take these, right? Can I? Sparkly, oh, no. okay. uh, there's three tiers. <laughs> of gems that you can find hidden in the world and sparkly is the highest tier it's like the considered the rarest hardest to find mm -hmm. so do i talk to her or do i like walk up to the stuff so, see I... on the carpet you oh. got those items with the numbers two and three next to them and that's the number of rare gems the pink ones that mm -hmm. you need to purchase it Ooh, rising pin is kind of nice. So, wait, a uh, quick question. There's only one of each of these, and these are it, right? Like Correct. Okay, so it's basically these like... These are unique to this shop. You will not find duplicates anywhere. <laughs> right. So, basically, these are like, like abilities you want for your characters. Like, oh, I want... This character it dies all the time, so maybe this one would be the good one to have, right? Well, like they that... take the accessory slot in your equipment menu. Ah, gotcha. So if you want that effect, you have to actually equip it to the character in place of whatever the accessory is. Hmm. Boost power when HP is low. Nice. Raises power for three that... turns at the start of battle. That sounds really useful, actually. Movement by one is nice. Damages enemies adjacent to you. That's also very nice. Heals allies. Yeah. Restores HP to adjacent allies in critical condition. Let's go. Some okay. of these I did end up using for optional late game stuff. I'll keep those in mind then. The pitter-patter is still really adorable. I love that. Petronella, is that you? Sniff. Who is it? 
My name is Mary. I'm uh, Safina's sister. I'm looking for her and was hoping you could help me out. Safina's sister? Hmm. The door unlocks. You do not need a key. <clears throat> Your... Oh. They sit. Sniff. They said he's... The one option that we chose not to enable was content warning. <laughs> Which is a uh... thing for, you know, if anyone is sensitive to certain issues, you can have the game warn you about them. And I did a little test run just to see how the game handled it. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time that one comes up and it says self-hate. Gotcha. Okay. I won't be so. interjecting with these every time because that's the only one I've actually seen, but I figured I'd give an example of how that option might play out for people who might be considering it. Gotcha. Well, I yeah, I saw it on there and I didn't want to turn it on because like I, di I didn't want it like popping up multiple times to kind of disrupt the flow. But, you know, obviously having the option is a good thing. You know, you know like more options is never a bad thing, right? So. And the but, main reason I bring it up is just because I don't see it. I haven't seen any other game with an option like it in my mm. own experience. Yeah, I've, I don't think I've ever seen a game with that kind of option, so that's super appreciated. It would especially be helpful for maybe certain other games, indie games that have extremely like difficult topics for people. Uh, cough, cough, <laughs> doki, doki. Uh, but uh, to be fair, that game does give you a warning, but it's only on the page to buy the game that it gives you the warning. Not, I don't think in-game does it, so. And that sounds like a more general warning, whereas this feature would is give you very specific like specific triggers. Yeah, exactly. I so when it gives you the warning, does it still go through, or does it allow you to skip it, or do, like what? Well, you can so skip what, any scene like this in the game by holding the button. They mentioned that earlier. Oh, that's but true. It will that's still true. play out the scene after the content warning if you let it. Gotcha. Aw, she sit because they sit. So you and Safina met in your first year, right? She's quite the handful, but she usually means well. Aren't you really Safina's sister? Ah ha ha! Take a look at me. It's obvious, isn't it? No. I don't know. <laughs> There's plenty of red-headed teenagers in the world. <laughs> right. She talked about you lots when she came uh, home every summer. Nell never likes any of my plans, but they come along anyway. She says you're an amazing alchemist. It's like, is that like potions and stuff? Yeah. She said that. Yep. She said uh, she'd sneak out of school all the time, dragging you along. Yeah. At first, I was scared of getting in trouble, but it was always nice to hang out he uh, here, away from the other students. I don't know where Safina is either. We have a secret way in, but it only works for Safina. And now I'm locked out and I can't find her and... Oh, that's why they're sad. Hey, it's... Oh. Secret tunnel. <laughs> oh, poor Nella. Sweet baby. Ah, uh, they're still sad after hearing the secret tunnel song. <laughs> it, must it must be very serious. Is this our second party member? Yo? Yo, come on. 
Yeah, come on. Yeah, let's go. Don't leave me here. I'll go with you. Yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. You know what? Armin X, let's go. Oh, yeah. I can do that too because of the potato. <laughs> Thank you, Stealthy. Spare key to the tool shed. The innkeeper has the other one. Alright, maybe he'll let us borrow it. <laughs> yeah! Nella joins! Woo! Yo, double pitter patter, let's go, baby! They follow along with every movement. <laughs> it's cute. I forget what game it is, but there's some game out there that, like, makes a joke about party members following you. And they're like, oh, it's just comfortable to walk exactly where you walk at all times. <laughs> I haven't seen that game, whatever it is. I forget what game it is. It is an RPG game, though. I do remember that. Yeah. Omfrey. You're both sweet babies. Head pats for everyone. On the house. Give us your key, old man. Let us into your shed. <laughs> Let these children and if into you don't your agree shed. agree with us, there will be bloodshed. <laughs> we'll raise such a stink. I'll tell my entire Discord server about it. How many people is that? I don't know, like 30 to 40 maybe? It's a, it's a lot of people. <laughs> it's like a million Over people. One. <laughs> I'm gonna post in the support channel and you're gonna get so much heckin' grief. Key is in the cellar. Oh! Some strange magic blocking the entrance. Oh, what Haven't... is with that movie? Yeah, right. <laughs> is that a real movie? Like, I'm not familiar with that movie. Yes, there is a Lucasfilm called Strange Magic. Is it good? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're very sure of that. <laughs> New supplies. Hot dog. No, I don't sell those. They already have a tree Stop. knot. Yeah, this is the kind of game where a lot of equipment is only designated for certain party members. That makes sense. I'm kind but of You see the little that. symbols above their portraits on the left? Yeah, it shows if it'll go up, down, uh, both or, or stay the same. Everything is yeah. <laughs> I like that. Oh, uh, I can did sell. Did you ever sell that common coin? Yeah, I sold both of those. Okay, but yeah, you can also sell old equipment or stuff that you're never gonna use for a little spare change. Uh, you said you never ended up using this, right? Oh, well, wait, wait, hang on. I can just... Well, yeah, for the moment, Petronella's got an extra spot. Yeah, there we go. So might as well. And then I don't need the bark. Alright, there we go. Let's pet this cat. Uh, how long did you say you had about... Four hours, roughly? Yeah, like, I could... It's up it, to it... you. I'm free for another three. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Because I was going to say, we're, we're almost two hours in. So, I just wanted to make sure of that. It, whenever you need to go, though, just let me know and we'll, you know, stop it whenever. There's This game is I'd very say... generous with save points. So, <laughs> I'm not too it bummed is. if we have to redo a room or two. <laughs> yeah 
the, I, the, the, I honestly think it's more likely that you'll end up stopping first. Oh, really? <laughs> I got plenty of free time. I mean, I have nothing going on Which until... why I agreed to the, do this. Yeah. What was that? I don't know. I make, I make fire go away sometimes, but also can do it. <laughs> I've never seen magic like that before. You've never had magic before now? Nope. I think all this magic stuff might be why uh, Eichenfeld is, stu is I a little, 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 stuttered. <laughs> yep, that's it. That's Shut the up. word. Nope, stuttered. That's it. I said it. It's already too late. We're here. Shut up, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I love these like little animations they have. The, the these like little simple sprites, but they're like their heads bob up and down. It's so cute. <laughs> Skull Kid Tiger. Oh, this man, is we very have been chill. putting Skull Kid Tiger to sleep. Yeah, I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult, but I appreciate it either way. Uh, yeah, it... <laughs> It's a compliment in this case, he, he, but I just find that. <laughs> oh! It's the octopus from Ori Emo. Hey, let me help out. Fight the mobs. Burn the mob. We are playing this game now. <laughs> One back, and fire a ball. And splash. Alright, you got control of Nell now. Comes with two spells. Uh, is there friendly fire? There is. You do have to watch that. Great. Wait, why do they turn red? Their face turns red when it's they're like in the menu. Well, uh, they are very much an introvert. Oh, it's cute. Hey, got the timing down. First try. Let's go. Yeah, that's another one where it's just an object hits an enemy so you can kind of figure it out. <laughs> but pretty much uh their base spells are very similar to yours, where they have the one spell that single target does more damage, and the other spell that hits an area for less. Hmm. Except uh, they're a water-based witch. That makes sense. Which, uh, there's no elemental weaknesses, because you saw the one attack stat is all that's really there. Mm hmm But, you know, it plays into the animations. This one doesn't have a light. Door is locked. You need a key. We came to get a tool key, and now we need another key to get to the key. I mean, what's with <laughs> what's with that? <laughs> what is the deal? <laughs> well, doesn't matter. We got it unlocked. Aha! The key to victory will be found. Okay, boom. You know what? I'm gonna try this one. Wait, hang on. Doot doot. Hey, there we go. You'll love to see it. Oh, so that you hate red to see that. So the three squares is where you'll actually hit. The green is just other potential areas to aim. I need to. It's very hard to get used to the spacing on this, so I'm really glad they allow me to, like, reposition. Yeah, I found myself doing that for a while. You know, they just introduced Nell, who has their own set of spells with different ranges that are different from Merit. So you gotta keep checking these things. bubble I hate to burst your bubble but you just won yeah 
Level up, baby. Yo, attack power up. Let's go. HP and power. Yo, I can motivate. Let's go! Oh, uh, that is a great spell. Please tell me it's like low key one of the most like beneficial ones in the game. I would say so from my own playthrough. Nice. Everyone's got their own style, but I used it a lot. You're not going to do anything this turn. What does this do? Raising power for one to three turns. Nice. That range is because of the timing aspect. If you do bad timing, you only get one turn, but if you get the great timing, you get the full three turns. Oh, nice. So I can control it. That's nice. Yeah, just gotta get the great timing and you'll get the most out of it. <laughs> like any other spell. <laughs> hmm. And you can, you can use that on yourself. And it's and it's one or the ability, other. Give it to yourself. It's one or the other. It's not both. Right. You have to pick a target for it. Yeah. And I'll just take. I'll just I mean, go for the damage right now. That one doesn't have a cooldown, so you could just spend two turns powering up both. Why are you all in a different row? I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Do they open up uh, the amount of lanes that there are, so to speak? No, nope, it stays like this size the whole game. Cool. Buble. Uh, is there, uh, I'm curious, is there any voiceover in this game or no? I know that's like a weird question to ask because like there hasn't been any so far, but I'm just wondering if there is or not, like later on maybe. There's something akin to that later. Okay. But there's not a lot of it. That's fine. There we go. Oh my god. So many big ass boys. Oh, but look at their little tongue. <laughs> They're so cute. You know what? Let's give it a. <laughs> right, I love so that you animation. Got the dice, which means you will be powered up for two turns. Nice. You may have noticed that Petronella, even though you're getting the nice, which isn't the worst timing, is still doing one damage with that move. Yeah. Yeah, their that their expertise does not lie in the power department. <laughs> yeah, clearly. Nice. And then get you out of here. There we go. It's a full eight damage from that. <laughs> oh no. Skull Kid says, hey, wanna hear a joke? Sure, go for it. Always. Pick the perfect stream for such a thing. The guy who laughs at everything too much and the pun master himself.
What do you call a magician? I know the who answer. Can't do... I'm gonna. I think I know the answer, but go for it. What do you call a magician who can't? Fuck yeah, you. Yeah, that's you the answer. Suck. You. You suck. Fuck you. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I read that and I was like, wait, if I just take that word out, it's a name. <laughs> you kids cleared it's the way. Close to, it's very close to Oxley's first name. One letter off. What? What is? Remember that character from earlier, the greatest magician who does one damage with his special move? Oh, oh, yeah. And his it's name a, is Eben. Yeah, it's uh, one letter off. That's right. Well, it literally is. Yeah. I don't see the key anywhere. Ah, it's in a chest, right? Oh. Oh, it was right here. Great. It went into a sinkhole. <laughs> don't worry. We don't need to evacuate the inn before it expands and swallows everyone whole. I sure don't want to clum climb into some spooky smoking hole. Yeah. So I'll make kids do it. I'm a good person. Anyway, later, kids. I'll be at the bar if you need anything. Out of context, that is a very bad, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, well, there's a bunch of kids in my basement crawling into a hole to get a treasure chest, and I'm just here at the bar. <laughs> Not to mention all the smoke coming out of the hole. Yeah, it's probably dangerous. No. Or it I'll looks very trippy. <laughs> yeah, right. Don't go in the hole. I need to save. Yeah, this is once again the game being generous with the warning there. So now I can probably power uh, them up, right? And then they might actually like deal some damage. Bacon, wait, did that say Bacon's birthplace? I believe it said Beacon. Oh, hello, Deer, deer Bits. Oh, Deer Bits with a party of 65? Hello? Wait, what? S what? Sniff, 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 sniff. What? What's going on there? What are they sniffing? Oh, what? Don't smell my stream. <laughs> my stream didn't shower today. <laughs> the dog island. The dog island for the Wii? Is, isn't that like a Wii game? That's hilarious. Is that I love anything it. like Amazing Island for the GameCube? Uh, I I'm very doubtful of that. <laughs> Yo, I appreciate this. <laughs> Yo, look at all these emotes. They're going wild. Let's go. Uh, what does that remind you of? Is that a little Goron? Uh, what is that? Oh, it's like a, it's like a dog. It's weirdly dark and involves a lot of dead and dying dog relatives. What? Excuse me? <laughs> I knew it was a week. I didn't know it had all that. <laughs> That's a lot of information. Here's a little deer. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Do you know what else is deer? The characters in Ickenfell, the game that we are playing. <laughs> oh, it, it, true, true. We should, we should. Give it, I, I'm like slowly making my way through the dialogue, but I was, I was reading what everyone was saying. Sorry about that. Oh, no, I'm, re I'm reading it, too. I just want to be like, welcome, Raiders, to Rob's <sighs> stream. I'm not Rob. He's Rob. <laughs> I'm Rob. Hi. The, I'm the guy on camera. That's me. Hi. Hello. Uh, my, my, the ethereal pun master voice you hear is Azran, a friend of mine. A new season is upon us. A season of fire, gasp, and fury. What are you talking about? Fell. It is an RPG that I am sure is already winning over Rob with many of its aspects. Yes, it is a very cute, it's a very wonderful game. It's a very inclusive game, which I appreciate. There's no dead dogs, which is also nice. Them pronouns. Hell yeah. And there's no dead dogs, which is the best aspect. <laughs> Instead, there are live cats that heal you and let you save your game. <laughs> yeah, right. Hmm. We're still so, in chapter one here. <laughs> yeah, very early on in the game. This is uh, the second boss, right? Technically? Uh, if you count even Oxley as a boss, then no. It would be the third. <laughs> but since he's kind of a pushover, 
I would say oh. sure. Oof. That did so much damage. So this is uh, this game was made by Happy Ray Games. Chevy Ray is the main programmer on it, and they did a lot of work with Maddie Thorson, who you may know of Celeste and Towerfall. In fact, they've roomed together at one point. That's so got a visual style as reminiscent of Celeste, but it is a turn-based RPG with timing elements on its attack and defense, but also a grid-based positioning system for attack ranges. Yeah, and you can see it here, like you can move around the grid, do whatever, right? And then uh, and then you got, you know, like I can buff my party. I, I got like different kinds of spells with different ranges and whatnot and areas of effect. <clears throat> uh, let's. Yeah, there's no MP. All attacks are magic based and you can use most of them however much you want. Timing similar to Paper Mario as Eclectic Salt is saying there. The better timing, the more damage or the less damage if you're talking about defense. It's all wrapped up in this package that also contains music from Ivy and Sarashu, Steven Universe fame. It's got a little bit of everything from all over, <laughs> and it's and it's really good. <laughs> so yeah, that that's my spiel. I did a video on the game at one point to give a little overview, a spoiler-free, I should mention, overview of it I did in Oof. a little one-off. Um, This isn't... Great. Oh, uh, wait, I can check. View units. Oh, you only got 6 HP? Dude, you're out of here. Goodbye. Yeah, very good feature that I should have used earlier in my playthrough. I was so happy when I figured out it existed. <laughs> um... I have... Okay, here we go. Okay, hang on. Essentially, this game came out in 2020. I follow Adriana Figueroa on Twitter for stuff that she does. She has some involvement later in the game. So she often tweets out about it. Thanks to that, I ended up playing the game. That was fun. And then I recommended it to Rob when he asked about a potential collab. Yeah. So here we are. I feel strange. Oh. Oh no, what? This is all just so wrong. Oh boy, I Welcome to I, phase two. I hate this. That's that's wonderful. <laughs> oh, you know what? One other thing to mention to the viewers that came in from the raid is that uh, from the Xbox notifications, you can probably tell this is on Game Pass. Ah, yeah, so that's right. Subscribe to that. It is no extra cost. And that's the thing. You don't need an Xbox to have Game Pass. Uh, you need a browser or P a PC, and you can play it that way as well. So, you know, or your mobile phone works as well. So you got options to play this if you want to at least try it. And you don't want to, like, d d dive in right away. But, like, look how charming this is. You want to give them yeah, your money, it, right? Yeah, you know, <laughs> if you do want to just pick it up on another platform like Switch, PS4, PC, it's 20 bucks at full price. And it has been on sale from time to time. Oh, oh no. Yo, Clutch? Let's go. Yeah. If you nail the timing on your defensive command on the attack that kills you, you get that clutch effect. Which is interesting because, uh... However, which is interesting because, uh... So I, that would have been a KO no matter what. It's interesting because I didn't nail the timing on it because I didn't even hit a button. Wait, really? Yeah, I didn't even touch the button. Then maybe it's random? I always thought it was tied to getting a great command. <laughs> It's the same way I used to think freebies in Paper Mar or in uh, Mario RPG mattered. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, let's let's get you out of here. We don't want to deal with you. 
Oh no. Oh my god, y'all deal so much damage! <laughs> if you are enjoying Rob's planet, consider supporting him in some yeah, sort right. of way. Like following. He plays RPGs quite a bit. He's also Primar working on Final Fantasy 1 at the moment. Right, I got Final Fantasy 1 on NES. I'm playing this. I, uh... Oh man, I got I got a lot of stuff planned actually. Uh, I know at some point me and Night Tide are probably gonna play some sort of RPG together. I'm gonna end up playing Tales of Arise when that comes out in September. I'm super pumped for that. So uh, let's let's go. Yeah, there we go. Um, this is probably fine. Alright, hey, not multi-target. Another minion down. Uh, can I hit Have you? Have you checked point? on their HP in a while? Oh, that's a good point. Uh, oh my god, you have so much HP left. Um, but, right. this dude's about to explode and deal extra damage, so I'll, I'll take that. There we yeah, go. Yeah, that was a solid turn right there. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh no. Charged up. I don't uh, he like got that. Motivated. He called motivated. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> uh Oh wait, no, not spells. Items. There we go. I'm gonna mm, Okay, right here. And then use items. Then I'll heal you for 10. I guess you can argue that the item range is like how far they can throw. Yeah, that, that, that probably makes sense. And then I'll motivate, and I'll motivate you. And I love the cute little bleepy sound effects they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but you did put them in the same lane, so they both got hit. Eh, it's fine. Probably. Uh, defense by three. Mm, that wouldn't be a bad still, idea. I think it can still win the day. Uh, question. If I were to buff, uh, uh, Mariette, uh, would that stack on top of her motivation? I believe the turns would stack, but the power would not. Okay, so gotcha. It, it would effectively be a waste to do it while it's still in effect. Because then it would yeah. just waste one turn to get... And then I'll, I'll use that on you to make sure you don't get... Fucking bit or whatever. <laughs> uh, ooh, um, yeah, I'm one space short there, so I'll just take this damage. That's fine. Nice. Now oh, he's using his turn to bring back the minions. Yeah, that's not great. So, but uh, this is the point in the fight where. Uh, well, Ooh. 13 is still a bit. Yeah, 13 a lot. You are powered up. That's true. And then I can use uh, Nella's turn. Because I'm about to have my turn, her turn, and then my turn again. Right. Or Mariette's turn. Right, again, you're right? in a position to at least do something and then decide. Uh, oh, you yeah, know what? You're not powered up anymore, so her next attack won't do eight. You know what? It'd probably it be more like five. It will, though. Because I'm gonna... Alright, you know what? I could just use... Hang on. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Just, like, get rid of this guy. Just don't get burn yourself up. Yeah. yeah. Get, get out of here, Neglect dude. Neglect salt. Yes, yes it is. And there's your evidence of that. <laughs> and thank God, too. <laughs> 20 XP. Let's go. That's much better than what you got from the lantern. Can we get a poggers in the chat? <laughs> New spell. 
Salve, let's go. I'll just go. put us together, and that should count. Uh, here, there's you and me, side by <laughs> side. Yo, it's so th that's another thing. Uh, if you sub, you get my Chie Satunaka. Let's go, emo. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, I get money. I get healing. Oh, and I got a bomb out of it. Nice. Okay, Which makes like sense given the, <laughs> yeah, g given the fact. K thanks. Oh, is that is that what he said? <laughs> I think it's just supposed to be like a teeth chattering sound effect. Oh, okay. That that that. that, 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 that. That makes more sense than him saying K thanks repeatedly. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> okay, thanks for beating me up. Bye. Time to turn into a little baby fireball. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh. Uh. I am. <laughs> and then he breaks into like, I am all of me. I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> From Shadow the Hedgehog. Beacon. Nice. Well, hello there, Beacon. I've been asleep so long, I almost forgot. Asleep? Down here? Yeah. I don't know how long, though. Years? Centuries? Hard to say. I, I feel like that's very worrying. An, <laughs> we are underneath of an inn, if you're gonna sleep somewhere. It, it makes sense that you picked underneath an inn. Well, although maybe in the inn would would have been a better choice, but no, no, way. out of the inn makes way more sense. <laughs> Skull Kid Tiger, I am. <laughs> Let's go. When I awakened, I felt a huge surge of magic pass over me. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> now I gotta listen to it. I mean, there's a nice rendition in the Sonic Symphony, which I've listened to more than I should have. I, that Sonic Symphony is almost like a daily listen for me. It's it's so just like great to have like uh, other than that specific song, it's like completely just like chill, good rock music. And then I love the numbers where the band and the orchestra are both playing. That's the thing. I only think one song does that, right? No, no, there's a few because the the orchestra helps the Dave Otani band on Speak with Your Heart. And they help Crush 40 with uh, Live and Learn. So that's at least two. I think that, did they also do, they also did Endless Possibilities with the first band. Oh, that's true. Okay. Because sure. I, I thought Live and Learn was the only one because that's the only time they show both of them doing it. That's why I was curious. Something's wrong. It doesn't feel right. For me, it feels like time has stopped. Marie, what do you, uh, do you think? Yeah. I think whatever is causing this is coming from Ekenfeld. I can sense it. Beyond the walls to the east. Oh, I hope you can fix it. I worry for my sister spirits who will also soon awaken. Are they going to turn into creepy bomb skulls too? <laughs> I don't know if we can help, but we're going to school to find out. Uh, oh, yeah, did a... well, Cut Tiger's right, it is in that song. Okay, that's good. Which, I was so... I, I loved, like, their whole fake out of, like, you want one more? And then they played Escape from the City, and you're like, wait, what? How did they not do the one song people wanted? And then they're like, JK, <laughs> one, one, one more. And I'm like, yeah, let's go! <laughs> Best of luck. When I've recovered a bit, I'll come find you. And then, you know, I was wondering why... The uh, Hyper Potions song wasn't in the Sonic Mania medley, and then they had it as the credits song. Yeah, and it and it was an orchestral remix, which was like that's your one more technically. So you had one 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 more, not one one two one 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 more. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna tell one one two you said that. <laughs> I love that petting the cat is the save point. It reminds me of the Mother 3 frog saving. All is right with the world if you're petting the cat. So, I'm going to buy like a couple more of those because I feel a little a, a little out of touch without them. So, like... Well, you I, only KO'd once, right? Only once. Mm, yeah, but still. It was, it was a little too much for my taste. 
There we go. And then... You don't have any sweet rocks or whatever they were called. Okay. We are out of there. Um. Oh, wait. No. We got the key. We're going this way now. A few years back, I went to the Zelda Symphony. They did the same thing. One more, and they did... And then an extra encore, sadly. I, I wish the audience wasn't as obnoxious, but I... But it still didn't sell my experience. Yeah, I, I went to the uh, the Zelda Symphony, and uh, that that was that was awesome. I had a really good time there. And I wish I could go to an actual video game symphony. Once uh, once lockdown goes away, uh, and the whole like COVID situation goes away, um, there's a uh, series of concerts called Video Games Live that uh, I actually do recommend. They usually get like a pretty nice blend of different genres and stuff like that. And the one time I went to video games live, they had the the composer for Resident Evil show up. But, and you're thinking like, oh wow, what like cool Resident Evil song did they have? Uh, he didn't play a Resident Evil song because he was also <laughs> the composer for a game called Africa on PS3. And so he picked a song from that to play. And uh, that that sucked that like, I was like, you got the resident evil composer and this is the song you let him pick. <laughs> like, like yeah, I'm I sure a lot to take me away from you, but that'll do it. Yeah. Right. Like, and that was like the, the show ender. And I was like, of all the songs, this is the one, this is it. Yeah, those were like, the lyrics to Africa by Toto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what city did I go to? Uh, ah, uh, what is it? Uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That's where I went. And this was like years ago, by the way. This is like, I think when Brawl was new, like that's when I went. So like, like 2008, 2009, like around there. A magic route using the old fountain on in the well. I don't know how she did it. It's old magic. The wall is impassable, but she found a way. Ha, that sounds like the sister I know. No one could keep her cooped up for long. The one so, concert I did see was actually right before the lockdowns all started. Mm -hmm. Where, uh, what kind of concert was that? So, if you uh, if you uh, have heard of the Runaway Guys, <laughs> then they do their Throne Controller show, and they had done one at PAX East 2020, but this was the one that was after the convention and at its own separate venue. So mm -hmm. I went to that, and they had Family Jewels and Adri do a few songs as the opener. Gotcha. Nice. <clears throat> I spoke with Jewels that day. We didn't really talk about anything interesting, because <laughs> I don't know how to talk to people. Unless it's like this, where I've got a game as reference. <laughs> but, I, know, I feel I you. I can at least say that I looked at the guy and his personage. <laughs> see that's the thing uh when i streamed uh valkyria chronicles like the speedrun showcase with derek uh i don't know if it comes through on the actual stream or the vod but the entire time uh my leg is bouncing and my jaw is like twinging so i like i physically feel felt like you could I knew I was nervous because you know I, I get nervous all the time I'm you know that's how I am but like I I apparently Jess uh, my girlfriend she says I did a good job like keeping it together and I was like no I'm I'm probably like jittery on stream and I'm like I'm like moving around all the time like you can tell like she's like no 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 like it's fine like you just you sounded good and you held it together. I was like, I don't feel like I did. <laughs> like, yeah, Cause I know I didn't. <laughs> you get nervous with stuff. So I, f I feel you. <laughs> Oof. So, so like magic using like blood and stuff is like forbidden magic. Oh, that makes sense. you have to, you have to inflict harm on yourself to use it. Yeah. Oh no, why not? What was that? <laughs> they said don't speak, so don't speak. <laughs> don't speak. I don't need your reasons. 
Then there are more lyrics. Don't tell me because it hurts. <laughs> Ooh, a book. I don't know what a book is. I'm, I, I live in the year 2021. I don't know what a book is. I do all my reading on the internet. You have to touch an object from the real world to return there. Oh, so I'm I'm sure and that's going to be... And then they touch be... the book, and then they discover they're in a video game. None of this is the real world, and then everything ends. Thank you for coming to the stream. <laughs> if that... if I, I know you're, like, making a bit, but if that is actually, like, the big twist to this game, I'm going to hate that <laughs> so much. <laughs> if it just cuts to, like, a real-life MP4 of people in the real world, I'm going to get upset. <laughs> <laughs> What was that creature? Oh, I want to... I would love to call out some games that kind of do that, but I'm not going to name names because it would spoil whatever those games are. Shoutouts to Mario Odyssey. I'm, I'm kidding. That's not the... That's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's not a spoiler. I, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I love that, like... Safina tells them, like, hey, don't talk here. There's a giant monster that will kill and eat us. And, <laughs> like, and, and, and Nella's just like, whatever. It's probably not real. Who cares? Like, <laughs> are you mad at me? Oh, no, no, baby. No one's mad at her. Or them. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Shit. I actually feel bad about that now. I'm sorry. The shed is different. I feel like it's a little tougher with fictional characters. It, it, it can be, yeah. Let's have a look. All right, let's leave. Wait, what's what's this? Why is there, like, confetti on the ground? Is also, that you know, uh, I guess another reason not to fail too bad is there will be instances in the game where one character uses the wrong pronouns and gets corrected. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's something. But, you know, I kind of appreciate that the game acknowledges that as a possibility, because there's, uh, there's a big trend in media right now, and I understand it, where, mm. you know, all of the norms and acceptance is just kind of faked into the world. Like, uh, I'm going to use the Owl House as reference here, where there's no coming out story, and everyone in the fictional world just accepts gay relationships or mm. non-binary characters and it's all treated as normal which is good especially for a children's program so that you know people who fit those demographics can see an example of how it should be in the world or people who don't fit those demographics know that when they meet people like that later in their lives that it's all perfectly normal mm -hmm. that's good but I feel like what we're not seeing a ton of because most shows and other <laughs> forms of media are doing this. We're not seeing a ton of those instances where people are facing adversity because of their identity and have mm -hmm. to cope with it or other people need to be educated about it. So the fact that this game has the occasional misgendering with certain characters later, I, that that sticks out to me. Mm -hmm. It makes sense because like, like you said, that's like a, a real thing, you know, and it's good we have instances of like, just, it's a, it's a thing in this universe, no one questions it as, and that's what should be normal, right? Um, but, you know, having a piece of media acknowledge that, you know, sometimes mistakes happen because we're still growing as humanity, right? Like that's, that's something we all are working on, right? So... Yeah, we've had generations of people growing up with boys and girls, and and that and that was it. The other. Right. By the way, uh, Smash Matt, I see that that non-binary flag. Let's go, let's go. Hell yeah, I see that. Is that is that the? Uh... Yeah, deer by pride. Let's go. Or deer bee? Is that deer bee? 
the the pride is capitalized but the the name deer is not uh, uh, the other email earlier also is deer bait so that is oh dear like bit okay so dear bit got it oh non-binary pansexual fuck yeah that's cool as hell let's go i'm proud of them yeah we are all about all the forms of pride here in fact i i would say think it's safe to say that we wouldn't be playing this game if we weren't well well my my fucking girlfriend is trans for god's sakes like uh, like i'm I, I everyone is welcome here and if you're not cool with that you can actually just fuck off forever. That, that's the so. one exception. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're not welcome if you can't handle accepting other people for who they are. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, Smash Man. I, I, I know, I know. Dear Bits was the one who raided me earlier, and I appreciate they did that. So it was a very nice raid. It was very much appreciated. And thank and thank by the way and thank you to anyone who followed me earlier like I, I super appreciate that I appreciate the the raid earlier I don't know if I really said enough to say thank you but you know it's it, I'm a very small streamer and you know I, I you know when I when I lost my job last week you know I was pretty bummed out for a whole day but like I was like you know what I'm just gonna keep pushing through and just enjoy my streaming while I do it you know like that kind of thing uh, skull kid tiger saying bye guy here maybe demi as i found out recently hell yeah hell yeah man also shout out to being bi it's cool as shit i'm right there with you hashtag bi boys let's go <laughs> let's go <laughs> b-i-b-o-y-z let's go <laughs> also the groundskeeper is a very wholesome character yeah i guess uh that uh... As long as we're going through that full transparency, I do not fall within the LGBT community, but I do consider myself an ally. Hell yeah. At least I try to be. And that and that's and that's the thing. There, you know, as long as the because very very much people in the LGBT QIA P plus community can can tell when someone's an ally versus fake trying. You know, like. And I, I, obviously, I, I know you, and you're very much an ally. So, you know, Smash Matt, I see you in there as an ally as well. Hell yeah. Like, the more the yeah, better. That, yeah, I'm an educator as my full-time job. I work with high school students, and a lot of them are facing these identities, and uh, I try to be there for them. Mm-hmm. Eclectic Bye, Soul, uh, so, sorry about your job. You totally got this, though. And from what I've seen, you seem like a great person, very chill streamer. Hell yeah. That's what that's what I try to do is, uh, like, my own... Those things are true. <laughs> my, 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 even my personal Discord server with my friends and whatnot, it's called the Chill Zone. Like, we just, we hang out, we're, you know, we're hanging out, playing cool games and, you know, making jokes and, you know, all that sort of stuff. So, I, I, I appreciate uh uh, about you know mentioning my job by the way like things get rough but yeah just gotta tough through it you know things happen but anyway you were you were gonna say Azran go ahead I'm sorry oh that uh you know let's see uh, during this past year that's uh, during the past couple of years of my current job I've had a few students that feel safe enough to come out to me so I'm pretty proud of it hell yeah Shout outs to those students. And like and shout out to yeah, you. Absolutely. Like to, to can't name any specifics because I'm not out to Oh no, myself, no. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no no doxing or anything like that. But like just shout outs shout outs to those students for being, first of all, cool as hell. And then shout out to you for being cool as hell for them, you know? Like it's just awesome. Oh, Oh, we got we have our second like, this is second flashback sequence yeah the first one was like first day of school kind of thing right so same thing happened before I think it's a vision of the past Petronella was able to see it this time 
just mm -hmm. they were with us. Right. Never heard of such a thing. That's interesting. Do you think Saf is okay? I don't know. But we'll find her either way. Let's go. Where is this? Dueling hall. Stay fit or get hit. Damn, that's that, that's <laughs> rough. I better go break out the ring, Con. Yeah, right. It's funny you mentioned that. I, I bought Ring Fit Adventure with the intent to stream it at some point. I heard it was an RPG and I thought it'd be fun to stream at some point. <laughs> it is an RPG. It's also a fitness game. Yeah, exactly. Well, that, that, that was like the whole thing is that eventually I was going to stream that like my whole fitness journey and whatnot but like I just I haven't got around to it yet and my setup isn't exactly ideal for it since I'm in a kitchen right now <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, I, I have a bedroom on the second floor and I still live with my parents and the room sometimes just walking around the room will cause things to shake so mm -hmm. imagine when I'm trying to run or do need lifts or all that other stuff in Ring Fit. Things will just shake violently. Like, including the television. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes it wants me to do a bunch of knee lifts really quickly. And so the whole thing starts shaking and I go over it and I'm holding it with my arm as I'm doing the knee lifts. I'd say my one major criticism is that there are some that there are some exercises, aka attacks, that don't seem to be recognized by the game as well as they should be. Mm -hmm. but yeah, there's yep. this one called the mountain climber, and I swear I'm doing it, but the game will be like, "Nah, I didn't do it. We didn't." We didn't reduce your rep counter by one because you didn't do it. That's kind of bogus. Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, that's that. Uh, that's also my personal experience. Other people, it might just be working as intended. Mm -hmm. So I just don't use that attack because you know you can only set eight or ten attacks at a mm -hmm. time anyway. Mm -hmm. so I'm just like fine if you don't out my efforts for this one, then I will do other things. Ooh, rare gem. Let's go. Closer to an item from the, the gem person. Uh, actually, well, I, I can afford one of them, right? I have two? You got at least two. Yeah. Some are two, some are three, so it depends what you want. Yeah, I could probably... I Well, eventually I'll be able to get another one, so... And, uh, this game does have fast travel open up so it'll be you'll have a convenient time to go back that's good at least so essentially if you're going around the school I wouldn't worry too much about it mm -hmm. uh, oh eclectic salt yeah the problem with motion controls in general yeah that's that's kind of the thing isn't it Interesting. I see. I'm, uh, conversely, I haven't had any issues with the twist action like Skull Cut Tiger has. Pretty sure any of the twists just go fine for me. Mm -hmm. uh, but there is one really. If anyone knows anything about this, then please feel free to give me advice. But there's one defensive maneuver. That I swear, I I have to do it incorrectly for it to be recognized, which is not good. Because <laughs> it's it's bad form the way I need to do it for the game to pick it up. But it's called the Mega Ab Guard. The Mega what? The Mega Ab Guard. Your regular defensive maneuver is called the Ab Guard, where you gotta press the ring against your abs. Gotcha. But the Mega version for certain attacks that you got to defend against involves doing that while squatting and that's not too bad but i have to squat a ridiculous amount to the point where it's not really a squat anymore i have to get 
I have to bend down to the point where I'm standing on my toes for the game to decide that I've squatted low enough to count. What? That's nuts. Like, that's not a squat. Yeah, right. That just sounds uncomfortable. <laughs> and of course, uh, you know, I want the game to recognize it because otherwise I'm going to get a ton of damage from this attack that needs to be mega guarded. Hmm. Yo, this music is like so cozy though. And I I have tried recalibrating it to Eclectic Salt's point. It's just weird, because like the, when I'm doing but when I'm doing the regular squat motion, when the game just wants me to squat, it picks that up fine. So regular squats are good, but mega squatting is not. <laughs> or at least for you. Yeah, decide. The game has decided that for me, my knees do not naturally bend low enough for a squat to count in a mega app board. Hmm. Sometimes happens to me, well, I think chubby guys have that issue, no offense, only assuming for myself. I am a little, that the main reason I'm trying to be better about right and fit is because my stomach is a little further out than I'd like it. Hmm. So I get, yeah, I'll admit that. I, I, don't worry, I, I saw that crystal there. I'm going to go back to it. I just want to explore the area first. And if you can't reach the enemy, you might as well try for the attack up. And even the oops gives you one turn of attack up. It just doesn't give you the two or three. There we go. I was like, oh my god, I don't know the timing on this. <laughs> Also, it wouldn't do me any good to lie about my physical appearance because I do use a camera on stream and people would be able to figure it out. Yeah, right. Here, I'm gonna... Like, no, I got a six-pack ass. What are you talking about? And then you'd look at the video and be like, that dude is a liar. <laughs> He's a phony! <laughs> That dude's using anchor arms. He's a jerk. <laughs> but now I'm a jerk and everybody loves me. <laughs> that sounds like certain. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? What are you gonna say? <laughs> what are you? What are you? What are you trying to say? <laughs> Oh, you know, entertainment, politics, you can figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you fill in the blanks on your own. <laughs> you can make your own conclusions. <laughs> I'm not going to answer the question, but I'm sure going to ask it, and you're going to answer it for yourself. <laughs> I love that little buff sprite. Uh, because it, it reminds me of, uh, this is like a really weird pull. The enemy sprites from Shin Megami Tensei, the original. Which, it, I, I know that's like a really weird pull, but like, <laughs> it's, it's just a very similar, uh, looking, like, animation. Well, I'll be looking that up later. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, boop, boop. Or, uh, boop? Boop. Okay, there we go. Uh, you know what? I'll tell you, I'll, I'll get rid of that bird. That bird sucks. There we go. Burn the flower.
Oh, treasure chest. I knew exploring was a good idea. Oh, enemy. I knew exploring was a good idea. <laughs> the game definitely rewards you. Mm -hmm. I'll let them come to me. and then bop, and then bam. There we go. So that, 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 that enemy's name is Ill Lily. And that just has me thinking about rappers. <laughs> Ill Lily. It's very close to Lil Lily. Imagine is if that... a rapper came out with that name. <laughs> I was about to ask, is that a real name of a rapper? <laughs> Because the last know, thing I know about is music things. You get a lot things. of them who use the little prefix. Hmm. Let's let's get these two out. Of here. I, I know that's a cultural thing for that genre, and that's why you see it so much. Mm hmm. But at the same time, when they to the uneducated who are trying to tell them apart. It, it makes it very annoying. difficult. Oh, yeah. A little annoying. <laughs> Eclectic Salt really liking the the turn based and uh, tactical combination here, and I I agree. It's like really fun so far. Like even though this is still super early game, I'm like actually having to think about what I'm doing. You know, like I can't just like chill out. You know. Right. I mean, if you. Uh... You probably could chill if you revisit areas with the lower level enemies after you've gotten further in the game. But apart from that. Aw, Bia. And now I see why. I should go back now. Hmm. Should I tell them about it? Scary. Of course they look scary to you. You're just a little bug. But they did rescue me. For helping me, I'll tell you a secret. I hid something under one of the trees in the school. Oh, God, now I'm going to be hitting the A button everywhere. <laughs> now, I'm not even happy I get a <laughs> secret. I'm just upset I have to do something now. <laughs> I have to push a button in a video game. Multiple Out times. Un unplayable. Zero out of ten. <laughs> would not pay for again. Ruined the whole experience right there. <laughs> Well, thanks for coming to the stream. I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah, right. Just turn off the stream. Whatever. I'm done. Good night, everybody. <laughs> yeah, Eclectic Salt puts it what puts it uh, pretty nicely is that a lot of turn-based games suffer from like mashing syndrome in early game, where you're just like, okay, yep, gotta gotta play through the game now, <laughs> like. Which is uh, unfortunate because, like, my favorite game of all time, if it wasn't obvious by the stream layout, uh, is Persona 4. And that that early game is very much, like, oh, it's early game. Like, you're talking a lot and not doing much else. <laughs> but, all right, come on now. Oh, wait, was the secret the rare gem? Because that was under a tree. Uh, where was that? Like bottom left corner in like a little courtyard area can you go back to it yeah one sec hang on let me hit every tree on the way there <laughs> hang on i'm just rubbing my face on every well, tree let, in this actually let me ask this was it sparkling yeah yeah it was and this I one don't think that was it was this one, but it was sparkling. Yeah. Uh, then that's tough to say. I feel like... I feel like if she has to tell you about it, it wouldn't have been sparkling, but I honestly can't remember. Great. <laughs> yeah, uh, Eclectic Salt gets it. Persona 4, good game. Early game, long. Like, it is, it is straight up, like, 
on a vanilla playthrough for a first time player, you're spending like five hours of dialogue. Like, with like one or two tutorial fights. And when I say tutorial fights, I literally mean tutorials. Like, they just explain mechanics. <laughs> like, it is not very fun mechanically. Uh, but it's a great game otherwise, so, you know. Oh! There we go, that's the one. Oh, thank God, I didn't have to go to every tree in the park. Now that being said, I'm gonna go to every now, tree in the park. Now that said, I'm pretty sure I accidentally found that on my playthrough before talking to her because my, my logic was it's a screen where that doesn't appear to have any sort of features. So there's got to be something there, like why else even have the screen in the game? So I yeah. clipped the one tree that looked different and it worked. Yep, that makes sense. This is it. Oh wait, what? This is where they make the students sleep? It's uh... <laughs> Looks like fucking Ganon's castle. <laughs> what is this shit? <laughs> like... I guess early architects thought every every building should look like a dungeon. I'm glad the trend passed. <laughs> it's actually really cozy and nice on the inside. Huh. Well, you know what? Isn't there a term for when you get really cozy in a place that's very oppressive? Uh, uncomfortable? I don't. I don't know what. Like. <laughs> no, no. Like uh, when. Uh, I don't know. It's not quite Stone Syndrome, but something along that line. Oh, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't remember the word for it, though. Oh. Oh. We're sneaky. We're hiding. Even we must proceed cautiously. I have a bad feeling about all this. Caution. Don't be daft. What could possibly be more dangerous than me in this old place? I wish you wouldn't make light of it. Hey, with you here to protect me, we'll be perfectly fine. Now, let's away. Hired to protect you. Sure. Oof. Oh. That, what is that feeling? Someone is... <laughs> Wait, real that quick. It sensation. <laughs> real quick. It feels like somebody wants to sell me wants something! To sell me something. <laughs> I told you he was odd to us! <laughs> I love that episode. Bax, come quick. You just must see how many teeth this giant flower has. What does that even mean? <laughs> why why are you fucking with a flower with molars? <laughs> you ask what it means, but we have piranha plant. I mean fair. Wait, no, don't touch it. <laughs> Oof, skull kid tiger. Comfortable in us in some place oppressive? America for the white man. That's real. I hate that. <laughs> oh wait, so they they know who he who he is, but but but, but uh, they are actually a witch, unlike Mary, the ordinary who stayed at home and did not enroll in Ickenfell because no magic. R right, but you would think at least Safina might have brought Ibn up at some point. Or mm -hmm. uh, maybe I, I I don't know I'm I'm reading too much of it. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying I it's fun. I don't think you are, but we can talk more about that after some plot developments. <laughs> True. I already ran into them once. We dueled. I was hoping to overhear something helpful this time, but no luck. You dueled Oxley. Isn't he one of the most powerful mages in the coven? Or so you are told. I don't know. He threw some light bubbles at me, and I kind of just lit him on fire. He did <laughs> like, one damage uh, from time to time. I guess it pinched a little. Yeah, right. Hmm. 
It's all so strange. Yeah, Bax, on the other hand, was able to heal off all the damage that you were able to do to Eben until you took him out. And, and it, even then, it wasn't really taking him out. It was just, he just walked away after I hit him enough times with fire. <laughs> like... Are you planning on going back to the crystal, or are you going to save that for later? <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I'm going to go back to it. I, was, I, I just went this way, and I was going to read the sign, and then the cutscene started. All right. Crystal time, baby. Let's get some backstory. She's going to get back at you, you know. She could try all she, she, try wants. All she wants. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. You got this. She has it coming. Pertesia. Oh, look who shows up. We were just talking about you, Seth. Don't worry. We had nothing but glowing things to say. <gasps> You're so sassy. Stuff it, Purdy. I know it was you who ratted me out. Me? I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. That face is uh, someone who knows exactly what she's talking about. <laughs> you got caught smuggling the magic items into school. Safina the snake, getting caught. You must be losing your touch. Those items have huge potential for magic research. There's no good reason they should be banned. Old Lady Eldra just has a crook in her wand about new magic, that's all. Dangerous magic should be in the hands of competent witches. Not reckless goons like you and your loyal shadows here. Uh, hey, don't call us. Don't let her bait you, Rook. I've heard what I need to hear. Let's go blow things up in potions class. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Wait. Aren't you expelled? Oh my, no. Is that what you thought you accomplished? Apparently they were told I had a secret passage I was smuggling through. But even the headmistress could, uh, could detect no such thing. They have no proof, so I'm off the hook. You. Losing my touch, indeed. Roasted. Let's go. Why is she so out to get us? That's a good kerchin. Now I must see what you're selling. These thorns. No good. No good at all. You need supplies? Not pointy enough. Yeah, right. Oh, so gold ones can't be used in battle, but blue ones can? Okay. Yeah, so some of the healing items are for field use only. Mm -hmm. If you can use them in battle, you can also use them in the field, but some of them are just not available in battle. That makes sense. Um, there's some of those seeds you were talking about earlier that you ended up using in one of the bosses huh uh wait seeds like the rock seed and the uh the, you know the ones that raise attack or defense oh yeah yeah I had I had those earlier um I was gonna use one and then I, and then I came up with the better strat in that moment, but I, I'm going to keep that for now. The Roost. Nintendo disliked that. Da, 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 da. The, the da, best da, brawl da, remix. Da, 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 da. How did that get a remix and it came back for Ultimate, but not the Diamond and Pearl Battle theme remix from Wii U? How did that not come back? Wait, they left songs out? Yep, 
They did. This is the They're... first I'm hearing that songs were cut from Ultimate. Mm-hmm. There's... See, that's the thing. Because they have a new remix for the Diamond and Pearl battle theme. But why not include the old one that you already remixed in the previous game? Like, I don't know. Like I don't know. They let Donkey Kong keep all of the old remixes. Exactly. In fact, they... See, that's the thing. It's why, like, Ultimate's music track list is, like, both a blessing and a curse. Because it's like, yeah, we have, like, a thousand songs, but one of them is 25M from the original Donkey Kong, which sucks and no one listens to. So, you know, like, it's... There's just a lot of, like, weird choices that I'm not, like, a hundo on. Like, they fill they fill the fucking Mario list with uh, a lot of the original 8-bit songs. And, like, those are good, don't get me wrong. But we have a thousand versions of the Mario da 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 Like, you know what I mean? Like... Yeah, I mean, on the one hand, I understand that they kept the Mario Maker stage, which switches between the four classic games, and they needed to have all those classic tracks in there for the option to let it switch between them when the Mario Maker stage does. Mm-hmm. But... I mean, I guess... I guess the workaround is you make a playlist of the stuff you like, and that's what they expected. Yeah. There's an adorably surprised lock fastened onto the door. Great. What's in this box? Nope. Nothing. You know what? Locks are not... Uh, there are locks that are surprised, but not in an adorable way in Okami. <laughs> I, I never played much of that. I, I played like about... Oh. Uh, I played about 10 hours of that and I was... It, it, well, it wasn't for me. I didn't really enjoy it that much. Uh, is is that a thing in Okami though? Like locks yeah, that are surprised? Yeah, uh, <laughs> there's these locks with faces and they're very demonic. And to open them, you stick the key in their eyeball. Oh, that's... That's awful. <laughs> but they're demons. So it's okay. <laughs> and you're the goddess set to rid the world of them. What a very weird attack. They launch you and let gravity do the damage. Poor Nella. They gotta hang in there. Oh, is that a new spell? Yeah, you did unlock a third spell on them. Yeah, it was That's a while ago. Spell. Yeah. But it's only uh, right. ranged for allies. Right, there is currently no way to heal yourself mm -hmm. without an item. <laughs> oh, and Eclectic Salt says, yeah, and they see you coming with a key and start freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> Now, like I said, surprised, but not adorably surprised. <laughs> there we go. Uh, question. So, yeah, if, with their healing uh, spell, you start getting a better sense of Nell's playstyle. Yeah. Where they don't do much damage, and they can't heal themselves... They can only heal the other party members, unless you're talking items. Right. So, a lot of the times, they end up staying back away from the enemy so that they don't take too much damage. And then they're also ready to heal from the back line. Uh, so, uh, crap, I was gonna ask a question, I forgot what it was. Oh, well. Pillar 2. Ah, there we go. It just feels like the thing to do. Of course, that's what I would do. Hell yeah, let's go. Actually, real quick, I'm gonna use... Perfect. There we go. Ah, dang it. Alright, well, 
it is what it is. Get smacked. Hey, I got the great time in that time. Yeah. Oh, here we go. And they stick the landing. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I, I love that there's no animation for that. It's just them frozen in one spot as they, like, get, fly through the air. <laughs> oh, no. There we go. Oof. That was a lot of damage. Pop. Ah, Nella, no, why? <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, that was my question. Is uh if they're in the area of effect but I aim at a different target, can they still be hit? But that is not the case. As I just found out. Yeah, uh, it's that final, it's that final set of red squares that determines what's actually getting hit. So with that attack, you have to single out the one space that you want to hit. But with something like Acid Splash on Nella, you have to single out the row of three squares that you want to hit. So if a party mm. member was in that row of three, then yeah, you'd hit him. Gotcha. I'm gonna get the great timing on that someday. That is not today, though. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, it worked. Yay. Let's it go. It was the final damage that was needed. Oh, I saw that. Hang on. Tiny ghost key. Cute. Door is barred from the other side. I bet that ghost key is imbued with magic. Uh, I gotcha. The tiny ghost etched onto the tap handles. You turn it. Oh, secret toilet. There's a note on the wall. Since the incident, anyone caught using magic in the stalls will be severely punished. Well... Oh. Double, double, toilet trouble. <laughs> oh! It poops! Ah, oh, this is your introduction to trap spaces. So some attacks like that one, you have to remember where they placed the trap. And if you step on it, then you will get hurt. <laughs> That's not fun. Now, and, uh, you see how right now you're just moving around selecting your space without confirming it? Yeah. Even if you step on it during that, it counts. That's not fun. So it's not just, uh, it's not just don't stand there, it's don't even walk over it. Of course, fortunately, the trap is still behind them, so I don't think you're likely to even go over there. Yeah, that was like, kind of far away, so... I shouldn't have picked this one. Oh, you know what? It worked out, though. Because now I'm just going to get rid of this guy real quick. Nine damage. Get out of here. Let's go. Now, that being said... If the enemy is not feeling particularly competent, they can activate their own trap. 
Oh no. <laughs> That's the big brain strat. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Well, you know, if you position your characters in the right way, it could theoretically be possible to drive the enemy to a point where they have to activate their trap. Mm -hmm. That's very situational, but it could happen. Right, exactly. Tiny text scratch on the back of the cupboard. I've drawn a little masterpiece, hidden in three red seats. Starting first on the left, counterclockwise search them each. Okay. It's not just a cat save point, it is a cat full peel. Which is like even better. Hmm, I need a room with three chairs. Oh, okay. So what did it say? Ah, so one, two, three. I like that you can figure it out with the ellipses if you didn't actually read the hint. Yeah, that's actually very smart. I like that. Tiny smiling ghost on the bottom of the cushion. You give it a poke. Yo, let's go. Oh, yep, okay, there we go. What? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> that enemy doesn't know what sort of state it's in. It's sleeping, <laughs> but it's surprised, and it's also confused. <laughs> this enemy is not doing so hot. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, almost. Okay. Well. Uh, yep, nothing's gonna reach it right now. Yep. Ah, better not step directly to the left. Yeah. I need to! Fuck! <laughs> well. Hmm. Actually. Oh, fuck. Okay, can't do there. Alright, well... Can't, uh, what are you trying to hit? Like, I need to step directly to the left in to, to the left of Nella there. That's how... Uh, but, but... To the left of... I don't think you need to stand on the space to the left of Nella to hit that. No, to hit, no. But I was trying to get both of them in there, and that's that's what I was, like, hoping to do. But... Uh, it's, oh, yeah, that's gonna be... A lost loss. Yeah. So now, yeah, you gotta move up and around to avoid the trap, or else you'll set it off. But I can't. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You also can't move through party members. This isn't fire emblem. Just People scoot. Actually take up <laughs> Just scooch, damn it. <laughs> I don't know how a human fell on me and I I lived. <laughs> Oops. Oh boy. Back up one space, go here I and here. Both of them now. They move back one, boom, bam, and pop. Get you out of here. Well, I feel bad for whoever steps on that spot after this battle ends. <laughs> well, the good thing is you managed to avoid it the whole time. Right. The game ends and the world goes back to the way it was it or whatever. Been, 
probably wouldn't have been the end of the world if he set it off. It just would have been a little more damage, but... Right. Oh, speed up by one? Um, you know what? You could probably use that, right? Ooh, speed up by two. Oh, but, but defense, defense goes minus down. one. Mm, I mean, they need the speed buff, though, you know? Wait, hang on. What? So that, what that, is, that is ultimately a decision that's up to you. Uh, they already take so much damage. Uh, and there's no downside to Marie, Mariette having it. Uh, I'll go with What shoes is Petronella wearing? Uh, leather. Is all reliable better on them? Not really. It's it's the same Not, thing. It's just it's plus like one the speed. Other ones, but less speed. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll st I'll I'm good with what it is. I I feel bad like when the game ends and everything's back to normal some random student's gonna step on that square and just be like oh <laughs> who put this egg here <laughs> hey what's going on here <laughs> nella after the game is over has like a vision and it's like oh no the egg <laughs> Jeez, I really love that move. It's just like so good and I deal so much damage with it. Yeah, like I said, I ended up motivating people a lot. You know, it, it just makes sense when you're stuck in a turn where you can't actually hit the enemies to at least increase what you'll do when they actually get to you. Right. Oh my god, that's with a nice. That sucks. Not great. But those were. Uh, it may just be the art style, but this game also does give me Earthbound vibes. Yeah, a little bit. I can see that. Spells are kind of like PSI, but there is no MP system of any sort to limit it. Mm -hmm. Give me that heal! There we go! Hashtag give me the big heal. Nice. Okay. That potion may have been your salvation. Yeah, right? Yo, look at this. Triple? Let's go. Uh, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Quit pooping on the battlefield, dude. It's not cool. The trap has been placed. Oh, must wait two turns. Oh, that's the recharge you were talking about that one time. Yep, some spells have to be limited in that way. So it applies to healing as well as some particularly powerful stuff later. Do you have any sort of abilities in this game that are like pushes enemies into certain squares or something like that? Like, because. Yep. Sweet. That's cool. Tiny writing scratched into the back of the cupboard. Nope. Not this one. <laughs> Tiny writing scratched into the back of the cupboard. Sorry. Not this one either. Okay. There's tiny writing scratched into the back of the cupboard. The hallway doors may seem adjust, though they are but another test. The true path will come in sight if you go left, right, Left, right. Interesting. Okay. So, left, right, left, right. Hey, there we go. 
I'm seeing what else is in this room, if anything. Hello, fire. I didn't you say the fire did anything, but... Uh, I, I... Look, listen, you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna check whatever fucking fire I want to check, okay? <laughs> That's Sophina's room over there. I'll get third degree burns, but I'm fine. Just a flesh wound. I'm just holding my hand in the fire, and you're like, Rob, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just checking to make sure it's hot. <laughs> Rob, it's been three minutes. You could stop now. I know. I, I, I know I can, but, like, you never know, you know? Rob, that's your video game playing hand. <laughs> oh. Big heart. This. What's this thing in my way? That's the power of love. Uh, there's something strange about it. Shaped like a heart? Well, there's that. Barriers are usually meant to keep friends and ordinaries out. That was fiends, by the way. Oh, fiends. Sorry. My bad. Uh, but, uh, but this one uh, won't let even us pass. Fiends and ordinaries? Nice to be lumped together into that category. Roasted. So, sorry, I didn't mean. Oh, look at them. They're a tomato. Uh, don't worry, now. I know you meant nothing by it. I'm pretty sure the... Petronella means tomato in some language. Do, does it actually? Or are you making a bit? I don't know. I made that up to be. Okay. <laughs> it sounded like a bit, but I'm like, I don't know. Maybe in Scandinavia, this is like a... I'm a dumb American. I don't know this stuff. <laughs> there was a time I wanted to go to magic magic school. Uh, the day she turned 13, the Raven came to Safina. She was so excited. She was a natural magician, but I had no talent. How to pinch of of magic in me. Uh, so when I turned 13, the raven never came, of course. At first I hoped it was a, I was just a late bloomer, but my and my time would come. But that was wishful thinking. You're either a witch or an ordinary. It took me years to get over it. It's kind of embarrassing. Oh, they feel bad. I guess I was right after all. I am a late bloomer. Really late. <laughs> what was that? So it turns out uh, it turns out their name actually means rock in Greek. Huh. So I I I have to imagine that was deliberate because uh, they are a very defensive character. Yep, that makes sense. We're trapped in ice. This is glass? Oh, never mind, it's not ice, it's glass. Oh, magical cat. What's up, cat? A kitten? Oh! I knew that cats would kill us one day. <laughs> I knew not to trust you furry demons. I don't want to hurt the cat. I don't care if it spews glass out of its brain. <laughs> wow, this is where Rob gives up. Thanks for coming to the stream. <laughs> yeah, Inkfell was a great game. I'm never going to play it. Goodbye. <laughs> Oof, that was rough. Well, guess I'm going this way. Of course, it was glass. Almost there. Ah, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> you never expect it when it's your first time seeing a multi hit. <laughs> Although, I guess to the game's credit, it was called Glass Shards, not Glass Shard. Well, I knew it was a multi-hit, but I was like, oh my god, they're coming at me so fast! <laughs> this is for me. Yeah, don't don't worry. I think it's normal to take a bit of damage as you're learning the attacks. Uh, 
Uh, okay. That's a defense lowering attack. Did it work? Because I hit the great command, right? Uh, since the lines aren't on your characters, I'm going to say, yeah, you blocked it. Okay, good. Bubble for cat. Because, you know, like, I, when you use the motivate, Merit's got the red circle underneath her the whole time that she's powered up. Mm hmm. So, um, there would be something like that if your stat was down. Oh, boy. Ah! Ah! Shit! I mistimed it. Alright, well, whatever. Bad game, 0 out of 10, turning it off. Goodbye. <laughs> Nice. That does so much damage! Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why are you closed? <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> Stop sleeping. And then Merritt was catatonic. <laughs> Light this cat on fire. Get it out of here. Well. Oh, that God. Guy, that's... Yep, now your defense is down by four for a bit. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not great. Ah, I still need one turn. It's times like this I get curious about how close the enemy is to death. Listen, you shut your mouth, okay? <laughs> I'm doing my best. <laughs> and you are 80% of the way through the fight? Uh, no, 75. My bad. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Defense by three. Okay, that would kind of help, but that's not the part. Or decreases defense by three. Yeah, that's more of a use on the enemy type of deal. Yeah, which is, you know, great, but it's not what I need right now. Um, and this is only one character, right? So. Correct. That's why you got the one red square. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's put it on you. And then for your turn, we'll go ahead. Just to help with the debuff, because... I'm not I'm not super hype on uh God shitty cat. Get out of here. Alright. You have solo. All right, nope. Nella, you know what to do. Oh, hey, adorable kitten. I hate that. That's an achievement. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, you didn't kill it. It ran away. Yeah, right, right. They let us know. Hey, it's not dead. It just isn't fighting anymore. Glass hairpin. Yeah, nice. you, you showed it who's boss, and now it's leaving. Uh, Smash Mat. Yes, I'm playing this on Xbox. Uh, the reason being it's, uh, it's Pass, available. No yeah, the reason being it's on Game Pass, so, you know, I figure why not. Rob already has Game Pass, so why buy the game if you don't have to? And plus, if I, you know, what's what's cool about Game Pass, especially, like, I don't, I don't want to be, like, a walking advertisement for a trillion dollar company but like uh what's cool about game pass ultimate is like any game that's on the service you get a discount if you buy the game too so uh and that's on top of whatever other like sale might be going on or whatever so the game's already 20 bucks so i get a discount if i want to buy it and support the developers but then if it's also even further on sale it stacks on top so that's like kind of a cool thing i've never seen a cat use magic yeah. before it seemed Really familiar. Almost ha, like ha, a ha, cat. familiar because magic animal. Ha ha. Oh, was that was that the gat the goof there? I don't know if that was an intentional joke, but it's what I thought of. 
What's our plan B? I didn't know we had a plan A. <laughs> we, uh, I think we should try find Rook. I don't know. I don't play chess. Oh, oh, the, oh, the book nerd. Got it. The person. Got it. Okay. He's here for summer too. He's really smart. Unlike me, he'll probably be helpful. What the fuck? No, you, Nell is the best. The fuck? Where's his room? We go through that door. It's on the ground floor. Alright, let's go. I can't believe the boss of this area was a random cat that spews glass out of its eyes. <laughs> HP heal. Let's go. Game saved. So, yeah, you door. don't have to worry too much about being a Game Pass advertisement. In the... I have another friend who runs a weekly show called Game Pass Plus. Uh, and I'm assuming that's literally that. <laughs> it's like a game it's like a game club where each month they'll pick a game from the service to go through and talk about but then they'll also give news updates on it and other such things. Mm. I mean Game Pass is good as fuck so like I get it. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna hang out over it here. It doesn't get much more of an advertisement than having a whole show dedicated to it. Very true. I do appreciate that no matter where they're placed, uh, it's always just every three lane, uh, or every one of the three lanes. For this attack. Yeah, for, well, right. That's what I mean. Oh, he angy. But now he on fire. Oh, wait, hang on. I'm going to see. Yeah, I can probably do this. Yeah, there we go. Get out of here, frog. Here comes the egg. There we Two go. <laughs> Two poopies. Talk about a bombshell. Yeah. I don't know what fucking Rockman here does, but I'm gonna get rid of him. Oh, he's alive. Great. Uh, that's what you thought. What? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! He just ate him! He got three HP back. And he lost six. Ten. He lost ten. Oh, there yeah. That, uh, that's, that's an upside to friendly fire. Whatever applies to you applies to the enemies. Yeah, very clearly. That was awful. The poor thing, I, it, just, it just had to die. <laughs> like, it didn't have a choice. Its friend walked up to it and was like, you know well, what? It produced eggs. At some point, something was going to think it was delicious. <laughs> Good sport. Is that equipped? Yes, it is. Uh, what does this do? Uh, this speed... Oh, hang on. What the... Wait, put that back on. What do you... Oh, hitting, hitting to the right? It unequips it. Mm -hmm. Very strange. All right, defense up uh, and speed up. Okay, and then no, nope. ah, give me the bandana back. All right, there we go. I'm used to other RPGs where you can like use R1 or L1 to swap over to uh, other yeah, that characters. That might have been a nice addition. There we go to bring. Oh God, N Nella has so much defense. What the fuck? They are the rock. Hmm. I mean, even base stats, you're going to find that Nella's better defensively than the others. Yeah. Maybe I should have. But, here. I mean, that did give them a speed boost that you were looking for earlier without compromising the defense. There. Now they both have decent defense and higher speed. There we go. Okay. 
But now about that hairpin. It's just more defense. And their speed goes down by one. Hmm. I guess I could take that. And then I can get rid of the well, silver ring. Now let's still got the silver ring, which I don't think has any stat benefit to it. Yeah, so this is just a yeah, this is just an overall better layout here. Okay. Yeah, and uh, to help justify the extra defense on merit, that is the unit that's been dying the most, or at all. Yeah, that's true. There we go. That's like a way better layout now. Now everyone's like pretty quick, but also has like a way good better defense. layout. Just like when Night Tide gets a commission from a streamer. Yo, real talk though. Night Tide's a good boy. Love Night Tide. Me and him played Mario played Mario World today together, and those those streams are effing wild, dude. <laughs> oh man. You, you would think, like, oh, it's just Mario World. Who cares? But, like, no. Uh, like, I'm really bad at 2D platformers, so, like... <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's a funny coincidence there. Is that at some point, after I got the layout commission from him, I also ended up playing Mario World. But it was for the first time ever. Oh, nice. How'd that go? <laughs> Mixed results. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, how, how, how long did it take you to beat? Uh, five streams of a couple hours each, so probably ten total. Oh, not bad. But I abused safe points because it was on NSO. Fair enough. I don't know why, but that one is the one that... Uh, Visually, my least favorite. Like, oh, like, uh, like the graphics? As far as 2D Mario's go, yeah. Hmm. That's fair. Like, something about it just seems wrong to me. Hmm. Not able to, like, pinpoint what it is exactly? Nah, I guess it's... Uh... It feels a bit more crude, I guess. That actually kind of makes sense given how that was made in like... Like less than a year. Yeah, like the whole the whole style choice for it. It's, uh, I, mean, I know Yoshi's Island does a sort of crayon style, but I feel like Mario World was just a worse version of that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. It, like, it kind of looks like a little kid could have drawn the whole thing. Hmm. Uh... You know what? I, I, I need the heals right now, so... <clears throat> I can see that. Um, Mario World, for me, is, like, gameplay-wise, my favorite 2D game in the series. But I'm also, like, not super big on... Uh, like 2D games or Mario games in general. So like, I'm I'm not like, not not that they're bad. I I enjoy them all. But like, I'm just saying like I'm not as hype on them as other people are. Um. So like, when it, <clears throat> if you, if you're like not a hundo on Mario World, it, and the visual style specifically, like I I could see that. Oh. Smash Pat says my words are harsh. That's right. I tell it like it is. I am the harshest of all criticizers. <laughs> That's definitely me. Not making that up. Nope. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm a pretty regular critic on my Twitter. <laughs> and it's not fun for anyone who follows me. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Why apologizing? I, I was trying to make a joke. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Everyone's chill. No, no one's fighting. No one's hurt. We're good. 
Ooh, um, yeah, I'll go for you. I guess I should clarify. I don't care if people like it. I'm not gonna stop you from liking something. Yeah. Actually, what you're trying to say is that Mario World is trash and anyone who likes it is trash, right? Like, that's what you were trying to say? <laughs> you know, not, I, I would continue that joke, but I don't want to be misquoted. No, no, you're... No, we're, no, every, no, no one here is going to hate on you for liking games. No, and, and no one should hate on you for liking games. Because they're fucking video games at the end of the day. As important as they are to all of us, they are games. They are not, you know that serious so you know if someone doesn't enjoy something no hate you know there's a game i really like on the screen right now but if someone doesn't like it and they have their reasons then yeah exactly by all means don't play it <laughs> right fine. people Yo, let's who go. like it will play it yo new spell blaze let's go hey please but it's not april gotta find the soul emerald now <laughs> I see glowy thing in the corner. Grab thing. Oh, treasure on other in a other side of the room there. All right. Hey, let's go. Common coin, tiny ghost key. And a bunch of stuff all of a sudden. <laughs> and a very shocked frog. <laughs> Oh yes, put put them all in position for me, so I can get them all with the. Uh... Oh, damn it, that frog is one space away. Yeah. I think there's only one other game I would be really really harsh on. Oh, what is that? Spirit tracks. Oh, well. I mean, you're safe with I me. I don't really that, enjoy that. <laughs> but to put it succinctly, to put it succinctly, Spirit Tracks is the worst Zelda in my personal preference. <laughs> frogs can be trouble, can they, Rob? Look, these ain't Mother 3 frogs, so yes, they're giving me grief right now, and I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> Well, that Chrono Trigger Frog, he's the biggest troublemaker. <laughs> I'm gonna wake both of you up. So, do you think your instincts are telling you how to time please? <sighs> Got that uh, first one. Yeah, I got that first one. And I'm glad I have a multi-target spell that hits also in front of me directly. Yeah, and uh, did you catch the other part of the description? Uh, what was... My... my oh, burn damage, right? Uh, no. What? Well, you're not on there right now, so you can't see it. Also... <laughs> Smash Pad, there's a little caveat <laughs> in what you're saying. See, I didn't hate Spirit Tracks because I hated Phantom Hourglass. In fact, Phantom Hourglass is my second favorite Zelda. But oh, I wow. still hate Spirit Tracks. <laughs> How's that? You heard that before from a friend? <laughs> I, I've legitimately never heard someone enjoy phantom so much and dislike spirit track so much because i wouldn't put phantom at like one of my favorites but i enjoyed what i played like back when it was new or whatever right um yeah usually like smash matt said it's usually the other way around people tend yeah, to say usual, spirit tracks is better usual person oh uh, what don't you enjoy about spirit tracks though 
Okay, so the overworld mechanic, not because it's a train in a Zelda game, but because of all the stupid insta death shit that comes up. Hey, thank you. Thank you. I don't like that shit either. <laughs> I think it's dumb. It doesn't add anything, I, I it just takes away. <laughs> For reference, I want to say, I 100%ed Spirit Tracks. I gave it a fair chance. Yeah, I I feel like that's a pretty good chance, yeah. I did everything in the game. All of it. I stuck it out. And that insta death shit got me in the ending sequence. The part that's, you know, supposed to be a really big, epic journey to the final boss. No. It killed me. <laughs> and like, the game makes it sound like you're practically invincible but you're not <laughs> see in general I just didn't like the train shit at all like I don't know M course, maybe that's if just that was me. my only reason for hating it it wouldn't be my least favorite <laughs> yeah that's fair uh, so I'm assuming there were many other reasons so the whip did not handle well in my experience. The pan flute absolutely did not handle well in my experience. Uh, yep, same. I Fun fact, I needed... Okay, so I was stuck on the final boss because of the pan flute shit. Uh, I was never able to do it. I had to cheese it every time throughout the game. But eventually, at the final boss, I just couldn't do it. it just wouldn't work for me. But my friend Brett... Uh, he, some people know him as Zero on the Discord server. Um, he, he He's like, oh, I never had a problem with the pan flute. And I was like, great. I handed him my copy, and at lunch, we had different lunch periods in high school. He opened up my DS at lunch, beat the flute, and then just put it in sleep mode. <laughs> and I was like, great. I'm glad this final boss technically took six hours to beat. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the music is fine. The, the oh, music yeah. is perfectly good in the game. I'll give that as one of the positives. <laughs> Eclectic salt. Okay, I may have gotten through the pan food by playing an emulator and binding a key to blow. <laughs> that's oh, maybe I that's have done fantastic. That. God, playing Spirit Tracks with an emulator? Like... Using a mouse for the touchscreen? Woof. That's brave. <laughs> I forgot what I'm doing, where I'm going. Hello? <laughs> you are looking for Rook. <laughs> oh, yeah, they said. Uh, they said down the stairs. The first floor somewhere. Yeah, they said down the stairs. Okay. Oh. Uh, move. Get, get the bookcase out of here. Now that I'm might gonna... be the problem you gotta deal with. It was not easy. I'll also throw in, I haven't played every Zelda. I am slowly increasing the number that I've played. So if anything comes along that's somehow worse, then I would give Spirit Tracks the benefit of the doubt and say it's not at the bottom anymore. But from the ones I've played, it's at the bottom. Yeah, that's fair. For me, the my personal least favorite is Skyward Sword, and I know that's not a controversial opinion. Or maybe it is nowadays, because a lot of people seem to just be fine with motion controls, and that's great for them. But I, I physically couldn't beat the game, so, you know, to me, that's not a good game. So... <laughs> Sounds fair. I mean, you also you almost physically couldn't beat Spirit Tracks either without your friend. Yeah, it, well, you're right. That's a hundred percent right. So. Of course, as a as the notion of playing HD with button controls uh, interested you in the slightest? Nope. Because they didn't. On it. Uh, well, in general, it's just like, there's not enough there to interest me. 
Like, I just don't care enough about Skyward Sword to want to play it again. I, I, I have other issues besides just the controls. Like, I, I think while the dungeons are good, the amount of backtracking you do is awful. And I... And I, I know people are like, oh, it's like it's like a search action game, like Metroid or whatever. And I'm like, no, it's just them reusing assets because it's easier. <laughs> like, yeah, well, you know, that's that's generally people's problem with Phantom Hourglass is because you keep going back to the Temple of the Ocean King. Yeah. But it's good in Skyward Sword. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm not going to... I'm, I'm just going to say there's a little bit of revisionist history with what's a good game and what's not. <laughs> now, I, I actually don't... like the Temple of the Ocean King. I like so the idea I of like it. The uh, Phantom Hourglass is high up on my list because I actually enjoy those sections where you get deeper each time, and when you do revisit it, there are shortcuts that open up with the items you obtain. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, you can get back to where you were much faster and claim some new treasure on the way now that you've got the bow to activate this switch that you couldn't before. Mm -hmm. Yo, level up, like let's I go. I understand that why someone would not enjoy revisiting the same place that many times, but mm. I was fine with it. Yeah, and Smash Map brings up Skyward Sword holds your hand through like the entire experience. And I know HD cleans that up by making uh Fi or whatever, like she's way more optional now, but like I I don't I don't care enough. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't enjoy Skyward Sword enough as it was and I and I doubt better controls or quote unquote better controls um are are going to change that for me. So uh we just plans on moving in eventually. I'll play her copy if I ever feel the need to go back to it. <laughs> like I don't plan to buy it myself. Well, that works. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, and it, it don't it don't matter about swearing or anything, but like we're we're chill here. Like the the only thing I don't tolerate is like hate speech. Like no no nothing like n words or you know anything derogatory towards you know, anyone with a mental deficiency of any kind, right? Like not nothing, nothing like that. And you're good. Yeah. So you're, Hate you're speech cool. is the shit. Don't be a bitch and fuck with us. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. Azrin gets there it. You go. That, that's all the license that you need. <laughs> I played it in the past. three things very quickly in succession. <laughs> so it's all good. Uh, let's see. Uh, party... Let's see what poison does. Damage an enemy and poison an enemy. Damaging it over several turns. See, I love poison spells that also do damage. So this is 100% yeah, the only spell I'm going to use. You'll get that <laughs> burst of initial damage. And then for a few turns, it'll just do chip damage. And I love using it on bosses. Because then even on the turns where I feel the need to heal or power up or something, it'll still be chipping away. Mm-hmm. Uh, just in case, and just in case, <laughs> and then sell, uh, I, collector's item, and, okay, so this is just for selling then, right? Just to make yep, sure. Yeah, all the coins are just money. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and Eclectic Salt brings up a good point. If if you've played it before, remaster doesn't change really anything other than like the controls, and it looks prettier, I guess. Right. So I am currently playing SSHD. It's the one I'm chipping away at now because I found a copy for twenty bucks, and I did not play the original. So it is currently the. When I said I'm slowly catching up on Zelda's, that's the one I'm working on now. Yep. That makes sense. Oh, and it is 60 FPS, which is very nice. I actually do appreciate that. Because Twilight Princess and Wind Waker HD, those weren't 60 frames per second. A lot of people thought they were, but they're not. They're blocked at 30. So. Which is very strange, given that the Switch 
technically isn't much more powerful than the Wii U in terms of graphical capability. So it, it's, uh, I, I think it's that extra horsepower from the Switch's CPU. But that's nerd shit. No one cares about that. It's, I'm sorry. <laughs> that makes me wonder. That makes me wonder if they ever did bring Twilight Princess or Wind Waker but they would have it pretty much or just exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Oh, visitors, it's about time. I probably should have saved. I feel scared. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This is my lucky day. G Gilda? What are you doing sitting here in the dark? Where's Rook? <laughs> Rook? You've only got one person to worry about now, Nell. And that's me. I, and I just... And caps. Yeah, right. What are you talking about? Hello? <laughs> oh, Nell, you wouldn't believe it. My magic's always been so weak, right? Fizzling out, blowing up my face. Everyone laughs at me. But then I heard a loud crack and it felt and felt a huge surge of energy. Wait, that's like and then something happened. Something. Whoa! Magnificent. Lightning? Oh ho ho ho! Isn't this just so me? <laughs> Gilda, how did you get such a power? That's not important right now. It, it, it very much is, thank you. <laughs> Lovely new friend you brought here. She looks tough. Is she tough? This is Marie, uh, Safina's sister. Yeah, she's really strong. We're actually looking for her. Safina has a hot sister? Yo, let's go! Yeah, I love Gilda. Gilda's the fucking best. Let's go. We must duel. But we don't want to fight you, Gilda. I mean, speak for yourself. <laughs> yes, you will. That, that, wait. We don't want to fight you. Yes, you will. <laughs> Don't wanna if you want to fight me. Oh, she'll tell us what happened to Safina if we beat her. Okay. What, 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 what? Yo, let's go. She's, she's adorable. I love her. So, I thought yeah. the pillow on this bed was a person's head and the sleeping bubbles were them sleeping. <laughs> and I didn't even look well. at the... I didn't even notice the cat, so I, I just thought it was a person sleeping. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, here's Gilda. The representation in the game continues now, because you've got her being openly affectionate towards Merrick. Hell yeah, that's poggers. Uh, speed goes way up and defense a little bit down? Hmm... Mm, I'm good for now. I'll wait. Okay. Save again. Oh, wait. There we go. I knew it. <laughs> you thought it was the end of the new equipment. But no. <sighs> oh, I get to do more damage? Uh... Did you check it on now? Yeah. Oh my god, you get so much more buff, but you lose so much defense. I'm good. Alright, let's save. All right. I'm All gonna right. be quiet for like a minute. I need to change my headphone. Oh, that's fine. Uh, after uh, Just as a heads up, after this boss fight, I think we'll be good for a while. Uh, the stream today, because it's been almost four hours now. So Sounds good. I hope you're ready, because it's showtime! <laughs> showtime it is!
Whoa! What? What? This is so fast! This is hilarious. So, uh, when you asked about voiceover, I didn't want to spoil that there were vocal songs. Yeah, I love it. So, we've got the theme of Gilda, first instance of this. And this is the only voice work that's done in the game, for the few songs like this where someone is singing. That's hilarious, I love it. Oh my god, I cannot get the timing of that at all. It's lightning fast. Shocking. <laughs> if anyone's curious, this particular song is sung by Renko. Yo, remember Lunasec. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, it was sung by who? Renko. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna spell it, that out. Uses exposition? Oh, this is getting good. Renko, it's showtime. Okay, let's see how you handle this. Taunt. Oops. Oh, Your speed's down. Bummer. Gilda's uh, uh, and I already made the joke about lightning fast, but that's kind of Gilda's whole thing is being really fast herself and making sure the enemy doesn't get to act as much. Wow, even if you get a great, it does, uh, does damage. And still affects your stats. Yeah. Less, but it does. Mm -hmm. Oof. Rough. Actually, let's see. 39? Oh boy. A little more than halfway down. Yeah. Luckily, I'm dealing like basically 10 damage a turn. Yep, I love the poison on bosses. <laughs> oh, well, there goes the speed. And some of your HP. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get the heal. Yeah, let's go. Yo, I'm loving this piano, though. Let's go. Yeah, who else loves piano? <laughs> <laughs> who? <laughs> Me. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I was like, is this like a trick question? Is this, is this a bit, no, but like you're, uh, you're playing like your concert thing, right? So I, I saw you yeah. playing piano on there. So, or a keyboard specifically, right? Like I haven't done it on stream yet. And I've been meaning to mm. so last night. I finally gave people some evidence that I do in fact play. 
And you did great, too. I love that little clip you posted. Heck yeah. That, that's what happens when you play for uh, two decades yet. Mm hmm. Probably been two decades by now. Oh, wow. That was in second grade when I started. Eventually went on to compete, but never won. Uh, one time someone actually asked me, there's competitive piano competition. Of course there is. And for, that, for those uninitiated, everyone plays the same selection of pieces. It is evaluated on, you know, accuracy. Like how well they play and whatnot, yeah. Yeah, and of course, like, you know, music is a very creative, livered uh, art form, and you can take liberties with songs and make your own sorts of variations on how you play them, but for the competition, you want to stick strictly to what's on the sheet music, what the composer intended with their direction. Right. Quick question. Uh, if, if a party member is KO'd, um, does, do they get experience or no? I forget, but I think no. I'm gonna see if I can, I'm gonna see if I can fact check that. There we go. Perfect. You suck. <laughs> God damn it, Gilda. I can't seem to find. Oh, thank God you chose the wrong spot. <laughs> I can't seem to find anything that answers this question. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Uh, it's no big deal. I already revived uh, them anyway. Alright, well, since we'll be ending soon, assume that the answer is no, to be safe, and I will check on the server. Sounds good. Roasted. Got her out of here. Woo, let's go. <laughs> that close. Uh, did you start later than usual or are you streaming longer? Yeah, this has been uh, about double the length of a normal stream, which is because yeah, usually I only go for about two and a half hours. So this is almost like double the length of a normal stream. And as assuming, Azran, if, if you're not too busy tomorrow, we can do like a similar setup, like go on for like. So remember like maybe when I said I'm a teacher? Ah, and it's right. the month of July. This is how that, I'm able to do this. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, cool. <laughs> Safina thinks she's so great. She's never lost a duel, but I defeated her. I'm the first. She doesn't get to look down on me anymore. I don't think I probably she probably didn't just as a heads up. Like <laughs> she she was pretty beat up. That's when Headmistress Aldra showed up. She was furious at Safina about something. Headmistress took her away, but I don't know where to. So you don't know where she is. Great. I'll see you again. And next time I'll win. You're adorable. Just wanted to let you know. Just wanted to let you know. That was ugh, <laughs> so cute. In that text box. Yeah, I saw that. 
Finally learned something. But we still don't know where Safina is. We need to get into Half's room. I have a feeling whatever's there will lead us to her. If we could only find Rook. Yeah, I, I feel like we should have asked Gilda about Rook, since this is Rook's room. Now <laughs> like, tried to, but Gilda steals the show. That's yeah, very much. Character. Very much so. Alright, so. We saved. We just beat a boss. We're going to go figure out some more stuff next time, but... Thank you everyone for joining. If uh, you came from Deerbit's stream earlier, uh, I appreciate them for hooking me up with a raid and a bunch of people followed and I super appreciate that. Uh, Azran, thank you for joining me uh, for part one of an ongoing series. Uh, you know, we made some... <laughs> we, we made a really good amount of progress today. I re I'm really enjoying the game. I love it a lot so far. Yeah, we're it's good ways into chapter two. Mm-hmm. We're like a pretty healthy amount of into how how many chapters are in the game like roughly? You sure you want that answer? I can give it to you, but Oh well now that you've said it like that, I don't want the answer, so because that sounds like cryptic as shit. Like it, you know, we made we made some decent progress. I think well, that's the uh, important part. It just part. depends on the type of person you are. Some people would say that the length that hinting at the length of the game might spoil things. I mean I gave you an hour estimate. Yeah. Uh, so if you want a chapter estimate too, I can do it. Just being sure before I say it. Nah, our estimate is fine. Uh, th th this is fine. This is fine. We're making some good progress. But anyway, thank you everyone for stopping by. Have a good night and see you later. Bye.